What's up, Zeke? How's it going? What's up, Thort, as well? Welcome back, guys. All right. Um... Oh, hello. Oh, this is just basically preventing me from going this way because of, uh, I don't know, just limiting you from going to places you can't go yet. So I can't go this way. All right. Oh, I woke up like an hour ago as well. So I'm in the same boat as you. Old Mesa. Mesa. All right. So we've killed the Stag Lord. who's the main last like quest when you, uh, or in Act 1. So now we're just going to go through and do as much as we can in Act 1. That's left. Because uh, there's a time limit on all the like main quest things. So we have 54 days to finish this Act 1 quest, basically, of killing the Stag Lord. We have to like basically turn it in. So I want to do as much as I can within these 54 days. Because if I just go turn this in now, I believe the timer for the next uh, main story quest will start. So I want to give myself as much time as humanly possible all right what we got here I'll go ahead You know, I want like a stealth character. I think we'll replace the paladin with like uh, a rogue, like a knife master or something. Our duty calls. This is my path. Because being able to sneak ahead and not be seen should actually be quite useful. Let us bide our time. Let's see what we got. Is this actually like a? Oh, hello. Greater werewolf? Okay. The path is clear. I'll make my own legends. Inimosi tradisi. I tire of waiting. I shall not fail. We should access. Let's not go too crazy with the buffs, but. Shall not fail. We should move. Yeah, I can answer Dos two questions. I don't care if I'm streaming another game. It's no big deal. Ask any question anytime. And welcome to the stream plot. Oh, is this going to be like a thing where I need silver or something? Stupid like that. Okay, no, he's dead. Uh, did he get a bad buff? No, he didn't. Okay. Get to watch on YouTube? Rip. I stand ready. The question is like, why is Twitch worse? Is that seven armor? Nice. Tread lightly. You have to say, I think the Paladin is an overrated class. This at least at this point. Path. Like, he doesn't do anything interesting. Or game-changing. Just be careful. His spells are kind of meh. What's the point of this area? Just a werewolf? Interesting. Wow, that was it? Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. We've done mostly everything. There's some area up here, and then down here, and then up here. I think that's mostly everything in this uh, 
Did we do the... Yeah, we did. We did the Bogart hunting grounds. Okay, I think this is it. In this area. Oh, you just did? Nice. <laughs> Welcome, Pink. For what you do, very enjoyable and informative. Great bits of commentary. Thank you, Flop. I really do appreciate it. You guys have been incredibly supportive lately, and I greatly appreciate that. I'm glad I uh, my stream can be of help and is enjoyable to watch. And you are starting the stream. Yeah, I know. Perfect timing, right? It was calculated, okay? <laughs> Perfectly calculated. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to go down here a little bit again. So I'm just double checking and making sure there's nothing. Maybe up here? You're, but, you, but I already lost. Very funny. <laughs> Welcome, Goblin. What's up, Zorker? What's up, every, everyone? This is awesome. Everyone's here. Ready to hang out. Is it uh, everybody's day off? In the, well, I guess with quarantine, every, every day is everybody's day off, let's be honest. Am I right? Arrest is in order. Gonna kill our party with <laughs> exhaustion? <laughs> uh, Alright, um... I feel tired. I wonder if my characters can die from exhaustion. Is there a limited number of random encounters you can get in an area? Bedtime is where you're from. <laughs> Welcome back, Pikey. Male Losa? No, it's just Losa. Female Losa. See it in the morning. <laughs> All right, see you, Pikey. Thanks for stopping by, though. Uh, we can go here. Turn that quest in. I can't go past the river. Yes, yeah, Losa. That is Losa. <laughs> Losa is our bard. <laughs> So far, I think her class will stay in the party. The paladin's not going to. Alright, that's everything there. Alright, let's go. Uh, just double check down here. I feel tired. 3 a.m., dear lord. Sleep at 10? Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I streamed till like 4 a.m. yesterday. It was not a good idea. Forty-seven. Still got time. What's up, whiskey? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Good night to all of you. Everyone, it's just like the time zone problem. Yeah, I guess we hit the max number of encounters we can hit in this area. That's interesting. Oh, oh, it's the fog. Yeah, it's just the fog preventing us from going further. All right. He died like five minutes in. I mean, that's a uh, par for the horse for Hydro Arrow. Let's be honest. Hey. Lucian cheese fight. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're uh, fatigued. Oh boy, oh boy. We can do it. Well, so you need to uh, do that. This is bad. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, we're good. In my night build? Um, just whenever I find a two-handed weapon that does more damage when equipped than two one-handers. 
and usually that's like level five or six honestly it's just you get some uh you get more unique one handers in act one that are good than you do uh two handers so like you know using like burrow's club and viper's tongue stuff like that's gonna give you more damage than using a two-hander really really early game but like honestly it's pretty quick you can switch all right she can't even move can she she can't even move i'll go ahead What's her strength? One. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh... No, Losa is a custom character. <laughs> oh my gosh. No ambush, please. 20 HP, <laughs> and I died because of game mechanics. Sounds about right. One strength, maxing. No, it's because we were fatigued. Let's head out. Dude, I'll never understand the walking speed. I think it's because I'm playing in windowed mode. All right, let's just double check down here. Been maxing this game. Why won't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Everyone counts on me. We should prepare. I tire of Our waiting. duty calls. What should I do? <laughs> oh boy. The road awaits. Let us bide our time. Adventures await. It's good enough. We should move. The road awaits. Our duty calls. Enemy near. Yeah, if you're getting a pre-buff, it's like the easiest way to die in <laughs> Toss 2. The path is clear. Yes, don't play mage. Got a lot of enchanted armor. Fifty-eight minutes. It's about right. I mean, the that's killing the bo final boss of the cat was like. Okay, so we can't do anything else. Let's go here. The cat fight took like thirty minutes. That was with like twenty skin grass rolls too. Right, so Oh yeah, thirty seventy percent percent resist is nothing, bro. Yeah, the cat one shot in uh Brackus too. Alright, so this stupid uh thing. Is my highest literally in minus five? There we go. Oh, come on, plus ten. It doesn't technically have max number of casts. It'll stack as long as you are able to cast it. I got sickened, but that's not a big deal. There's still something here.
still like lit up even though there's nothing useful there. Interesting. Uh, what did we get here? What the fuck? <laughs> Curse of Feebledy. Alright. Listen here, game. <laughs> So, I just want to, I'm curious what this does. Pfft, okay. It's got sickened, but I got like some gear. Dear Lord, we have so much like uh, enchanted stuff. This is fine, it'll go away. Oh, I'm sorry, Flop. So, I noticed on your in-game build, you use Cloak and Dagger versus Tackle Retreat. Even your Ranger. Um, I just try to min-max um, my memory. And there are very few situations where I'll end up needing two jumps. And if I do, Skin Graft is available for that. Uh, at least on most of the builds I run. So, the reason I run Cloak and Dagger is in the situation where I need to move while I'm invisible. Um... But Tactical Retreat uh, is fine as well if you want to use Tactical Retreat for starting a combat because you can apply haste to yourself when you jump into a combat. So they both have their benefits. Um, Tactical Retreat usually has more benefit. It just depends on how your points are spec'd. I love the uh, voice dialogue here, it's amazing. I'll go ahead. Oh, what bug do you find? Path is clear. Cloak and dagger behind an enemy and use any skill before landing. Um, uh, very funny, Spoopy. I'm pretty sure whiskey. That's not a mechanic. I've never, I've never seen that in the game. This armor is getting pretty nice. Armor. Yo, is the armor that he, the uh, Paladin's wearing actually worse than this? This is plus seven, heavy, medium, but it's enchanted. But even though it's the same and he puts it on, it won't increase because he has heavy armor focus. Yeah, it goes down. So it's still better, technically. Um, Los is wearing this, chain shirt, max plus four. Oh. Right? How is this? Oh, it's giving the same, but this has a higher, um... Max dex bonus to our dodge, so I'll just go ahead and wear that. And then our main character does not wear armor at all. 
Uh, it's just basically enhancement to the armor class. So it says plus one enhancement. So typically this armor gives me like plus four armor, but it's enhanced. It's like enchanted or something. So it gives plus five instead. Um, you'll also notice like what I'm looking at is how much armor it gives and then also the max dexterity bonus I can get, right? So if you look at this one, it has a max dexterity of five. And if I look like this, uh, where's another one that's worse? Trying to find that's worse. Like, this is four. So for whatever reason, I had... Uh, so your dex spirit dirty bonus is added to your AC as well. So if I had, like, plus four to my modifier on... Uh, plus five to my modifier on dex, but I wore this armor, I'd only get plus four of that armor uh, for my dexterity. Well, Phantom Knives backstabs. As well. Keep that in mind. I was facing you. I mean, he can still crit. I don't really need the intelligence right now. Hundred eighty. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you have high ground? Because it does get high ground bonus. Okay. I think it's time for the paladin to say bye-bye. Um, so we do like a knife master rogue? Or like, I don't know what I should do. Glaive, three times crit multiplier. A lot of special weapons. Got Kukri plus one. I like that. Also, someone, someone explained to me why uh, Heavy Pick has a four times crit multiplier. Savage Bow. Composite Enhancement. Aspect of the Falcon spell three times per day as a first level druid. For one minute each time. They get a bonus on a perception skill checks and one on attack. Oh. Crit multiplier improves. Hmm. Scythe has four times as well. A plus two great glove. So a dead character died to death log barrel. I mean, there's a couple areas where your undead can die to death fog. Like the area in Act 3, you can die. Alright, y'all, we're getting rich. At this point, we could almost afford one recruit. <laughs> so stupid. Literally, we, can't, we, can't, we couldn't even recruit one character right now if we were playing, paying the full price from vanilla for a, mer a mer mercenary. 
It's really stupid. Alright. Does he have Masterwork Kukri? He does. He has one... Uh, okay, so do I want to go Knife Master? To replace Chosen Undead? Or I can just respec Chosen Undead into a Knife Master. How's that sound? Dagger Shield. It's time to bring DOS 2 into Pathfinder. <laughs> My gosh. I wear a shield. It's just fewer attacks, which is unfortunate. All right, so. Of course, you can't respec in vanilla. Name of Phil Swift is that title also? Hi. <laughs> What's up, Onion? Freaking mod the game just to respec. I love it. What's this? Portrait? That's weird. All right. Chosen Undead will be our uh, <laughs> rogue here. Smile. What is that? So, Knife Master. I mean, it's Pathfinder CRPG like uh, Pillars and Dust 2. It's real time with pause, just like Pat Pillars, and uses the Pathfinder um, rule set. From the pen and paper game. I actually don't know Compot. Um, a lot of things are broken. Multi-classing in particular is broken. Alright, so what's the benefit of getting level 4? Build a the target. Causing a ticket penalty for one round. Minus AC. Only 85 gigs, dang. Alright, so I think uh, level 4 Knife Master would be worth it. Big boy on him? Uh, well, actually we're going to use small boy on him. The main character is a big boy. This guy's small boy. <laughs> Let's not go that hard. Okay, well. Because this is actually neutral for him, because he's got negative two. Yes, stream again already? Yes, I am. So, for... So, for this build, we can actually use Charisma. 
uh, sleep. I slept from like 4 a.m. to 1. I felt like it. So that's like what? Still like nine hours of sleep. Didn't feel like it though. <sighs> All right. Sleep now and leave the download going. <laughs> See you later, man. I will, thank you. Perception and lore, don't need that. All right, so I forgot we do need intelligence. So the reason we're doing charisma is because we can multi-class into monk, and uh, we we're literally right at the end of Act One. Yeah, we just have to go turn it in. There's one more thing I'm gonna do. But, um, but yeah, right now we're respecting the paladin. So we're going charisma because, uh, there's a subclass class for a monk. You know how we get the armor bonus from our wisdom as a monk. It's a subclass that makes it get, a, get us get it from a charisma instead. And since for the halfling, uh, get, halfling gives us dex and charisma, we can just use charisma instead. All right. So I think that's good. All right, Lozo's got that. Mobility, stealth, and knowledge. World. Let's see, for classes, if I, I don't think I will want to go into anything else. I think I need mobility three for some uh, feats if I want to take it. I could go uh, perception just as a, a second character that can see traps. That's probably what I'll do. Let's just grab athletics. Why not? Who has Arcana? Losa has Arcana. Oh, I think I make uh, demoralized checks, right? Knife Master. Oh no, this has nothing to do with that. That's if I was playing Thug. We're not playing Thug. So that's fine. I don't even need these. Basically. Oh, get it off me. So many thoughts. Forwards! No, no, backwards. B backwards! All I see is blackness.
Um, I forgot rogue talents are just trash. Kukri. Why can I not take Kukri? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why I can't take Kukri. Yeah, so do I need to come over here and then if I, if it's exotic? Eight hours? Probably not. It's not listed here. Marshall. Yeah. It's Marshall weapon. Here, one second class. Alchemist. I just don't understand why is uh start at third level she's like any one type of weapon that uh, can be used with weapon finesse. So do I have to put a point? I, uh, do I have to use that uh, talent for that? I have to use combat trick and then come over here and then do martial weapon proficiency. Here, let me look up Kukri real quick. Is it even worth it though? Kukri. Oh yeah, it is because their multiplier is stupid. Like their crit, crit range. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Organic chemistry, the game is back. <laughs> Wait, okay, so let me let me make sure I'm getting this right. So for nest training, to successful melee attack with Kukri, she adds her dexterity modifier instead of her strength modifier to the damage roll. So if I have this and then I come over here and I grab double slice. It says, so this would, to me, this would understand that because I have finesse training, I'm going to be giving you a finesse with it instead, even though it says strength, because I'm basically substituting my dexterity. So uncanny dodge. And debilitating injury. Okay, how do I get out flank? Can I not get out flank on this build? I think I need something else, don't I? Out flank. Hmm. 
Bab 4. Okay, so I need to wait till Bab 4 to get that. But I will be getting that. Is this worth it for Piranha Strike? Piranha Strike does seem good. So you get attack rolls reduced, but I'm going to be hitting them anyway with my massive decks. So only get three? Okay. Mobility, stealth. And knowledge. Oh, I have one more. I still can't do off link. Nope. Probably have to wait till next level and then let's, let's go monk first and then Scaled Fist is Charisma. Yeah, Charisma. Only take a two penalty on attack rolls. I like that. Crushing blow. No. Oh, let's take outflank. We can get uh, combat expertise later if we want to. Basically, outflank makes our attack rolls better for both our melees when they work together. Rogue four, monk one, alchemist. One second, so we have Let's look real quick. So rogue. So sneak dab. Oh yeah, it's definitely broken. Alright, so getting a bite attack doesn't matter. Because we can only sneak attack with our daggers, so we don't really care about increasing our um
Oh yeah. Ne I mean, Sneko does so much damage. What? So I can uh, do infusion to hit the heal people? I mean, to use spell to spell some people? Sin potion. I mean, so infusion seems good. Buffing allies as well. Or we can take a combat trick. Or I could go Feral Mutagen and then, uh, let's see. That would let me do Trip. I like the idea of infusion though. Let's go with infusion, I can always respect later. So he's only VV2, so his spells are gonna be really, really short for now. I mean, yeah, it should be my first completed playthrough, that's for sure. Uh, probably. Honestly, like, if you guys enjoy watching me not know what I'm doing, <laughs> we can certainly do that. I mean, I would definitely be down for a DOS one. Perfect, nice. You went to see DPS one? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I saw these weapons now. I might just keep the Savage Bow in case I want to add a melee later. $11,000. Dude, the enchanted weapons are insane. So one second. Character abilities, flurry of blows. Why? Oh, they're deactivated because I enabled them or disabled them. So see, flurry of blows. 
It's a full attack. When making a flurry of blows, the monk can make one additional attack at his highest base attack bonus. So if I, with my, so I, I couldn't go do Knife Master if I wanted to do that. But if I use one-handed monk weapons, is, are there any one-handed monk weapons that are good? Let's see, one-handed monk weapons. So comma. So I could use like these, and like play as a monk. Like use use flurry of blows. On the knife master instead. However, I think that would end up being less damage because I wouldn't get the the as big sneak attack die. Because they because the um. Knife master subclass makes my sneak attack dies bigger. So d8s instead of d6s. So I do more damage. Knife master. I think that would be interesting though, though using the comma. I mean, JDS, it may have been an autocorrect, but your keyboard knew what you wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now I think we'll go with the Knife Master for now. And then if we feel like switching, we can do that. Okay, these gauntlets, what are these again? Competence bonus. I think, uh, well, I can just wear them, that's fine. Okay, I think we're good. Let's sell the, some of the stuff and then we can leave. We're not, we're not using the Knife Master right now. Uh, we're going to do the uh, Amiri quest just for the XP. And then we'll continue on. See, so yeah, our frontliners are going to be our main character and that Knife Master. Literally just taking her for the quest. She's not actually useful.
All right. She dead. AC-19. What's up, Off Meta Gamer? And King Maver 2, yes, that's correct. What's our AC look like? We turned off all our defensive stuff, so that's tool 20. Um... Miss chance twenty percent. Ha ha ha. Get wrecked. Hmm. All right, that should be all of Act 1. Go turn in the quest, and we get to start doing the stupid uh, Kingmaker portion of the game. Oh, I have to speak with Nettle. Dude, Thor, I have no idea. I know there's a lot. <laughs> it's apparently, I mean, my understanding is this is a very long game. That's why so few people have beaten it. Um, I mean, the story so far is basically... This uh, warlord has asked like a bunch of heroes... To go clear out this uh, stolen land that's in control by bandits. And if you kill the bandit leader or whatever, then voila, you get you get to become the baron or whatever. So we killed the stag lord. Now we're going to go back and let him know that we killed them. And we're going to become the ruler of the land. My understanding is the story is pretty segmented. It's not very like linear. Like, oh, you know the plot from the very beginning. Because it kind of changes. My gosh. Freaking exhausted. Walk faster. It's kind of like D&D, &D, like, you don't play the same exact story the entire game. Oh, does he uh, drop anything? Yes. <laughs> this is the new Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Close enough. 
I believe in you, you can walk. attack while hunting. Oh boy. Actually, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm gonna get soloed by this kobold? Alright. Nice. Try it again, shall we? Oh, you never hit level 18? Wow. Nice, congratulations. Good job. You're on the uh, home stretch. You're about 30% of the way through arcs. Hmm, that's weird. Maybe based on region or the container itself that you try to open. I'm not sure. duty calls the path is clear we should prepare in maxing yeah interesting Nice. Nice to see. You. Congratulations. But matters of speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Casil Eldor. Of course. Cast. Enjoy your evening. Tread lightly. I don't think I have to talk to anyone here. Oh, I, this lady has a stupid quest. Will you drink with me? To beauty, but jokes aside, I came to apologize. As it happens, I came across some very valuable information. I'm sure you'd like so long. Let us be careful. Our little gathering. My apprentice, Cassiel Aldori, will go with you. Won't he? Whatever you choose, I won't. Excellent. Moin, moin. <laughs> Lord! 
Lords and ladies, up, today we are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the stolen lands. Baron Hannes Drellev, the new master of Glenabar, Captain Nager Vaughn. Oh yeah, I think there's like three different regions of like the bandit lands that you take over, and like you take over one and then two others take over the other two. an end to the atrocities of the Stag Lord's bandits. Step forward. On behalf of the people of the free city of Restal, I confer upon you this noble title. Rise, your grace. What other games? I mean, uh, CRPGs. Of course, I'm sure you've, you're here on the stream because of Divinity. Uh, so this is a game if you really are wanting to be adventurous with like other CRPGs, because this game is based on pen and paper mechanics. Um, Pillars of Eternity is the one I'd recommend if you're more uh, concerned with like uh, combat and stuff like that, because I think Pillars does a great job with their game mechanics. Um, story is questionable, but the game mechanics are fantabulous, both of them, the first one and the second one. And then, I mean, that's the main three. Pathfinder, Kingmaker, Pills of Eternity, and DOS 2. DOS 1 is worth a shot as well. And of course, if you're looking forward to uh, Baldur's Gate 3, you can definitely look at playing 1 and 2. The story is questionable, yes. <laughs> Alright, got some more traders, boys. Oh yeah. I love the voice dialogue here. It really adds to the experience. I actually haven't played Neverwinter Nights. Um, probably should. I love this unskippable cutscene. It's amazing. There's so many like games we could definitely stream in the future. Keep DOS to our main game and then like stream one side game at a time. DOS 2 again. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's always an option. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know there's a slow down time mode. Shift plus space. I'll have to try that. I don't think it actually matters. Tired.
All right, welcome to the whole new world of uh, not the fun part of roleplay. So, our kingdom will expand, like all these regions or whatever, and like we'll get cities and stuff. And not only do you have to manage the cities and stuff like that, like you freaking have to. Uh... <laughs> I have played The Witcher, yeah. Uh... Oh no. All right, well, it's uh, advisors. I'm, pre I'm sure everyone's looking at this like WTF is this. Um, minus four. I played it in the game. I haven't played like the actual like separate card game. Minus one. Oh my gosh. Oh, they get penalties for being mercenary? Okay, that's stupid. I mean, I guess it's to prevent you from just recruiting mercenaries to be your advisors. That's fair. So these characters, I, it would be worth technically leveling them up just for this, because they get bonuses to these. Um, so I might struggle throughout the game. Because I don't have their, their bonuses increasing. So is it better just not to have an advisor? <laughs> I mean, I'll just put Chosen Undead in there for now. Oh, this is also a way to uh, re-level someone up. So if I wanted to start using one of the story companions, I could do this. I could just, it just cost me money. I've seen Disco Elysium. I just don't know if I want to play it because it's like, there's like no combat. Okay, so economy. We'll see the right to establish a sizable trading post. Oh, insufficient funds. God of War, nice. Let's uh, see. Okay, training. I don't need any training. Did the game turn? I mean, I mean, uh. Okay, let's just look into our city real quick. Alright, so I have pulled up the min-max <laughs> uh, building strategy.
Main character is a tiefling, uh, and he is multi-classing the sectionist, monk, and uh, I think dragon uh, disciple and stuff like that. But maybe. Right. Just need to know. Uh, let's see. Because they all upgrade. I'm looking at the. Um, Like has a pretty optimal layout. I'm just gonna use that. Put bulletin boards everywhere. Okay. Uh. Is there a oh peers is the only thing that go here? I believe so. Okay. Longhouse. What becomes a school? Monument Courthouse Library. I guess school's its own thing, and I just can't get it yet. An orphanage, yeah. <laughs> Library. I just don't know how to get to... I'm assuming shrine upgrades into citadel? No, that can't make sense. No, it probably does. I mean, I'm not gonna say that we're not gonna just turn it into a <laughs> automatic mode. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. I nah, don't worry about it. Okay, we'll go over here. Windmill. Is there anything that doesn't affect anything? Lose, would lose a lot. Oh dang! Playing the GM mode. <laughs> Next to a shrine. Longhouse. We could do two, another shrine and put it right here for now. It's um so, Tylo. It's it is it's a the Pathfinder rule set from the tabletop. It's like an older think of it like three point five. It's the Dungeons and Dragons three point five edition. Uh, and uh, it's just basically that rule set translated into a video game, and it has like this whole like uh, kind of kingmaker, like uh empire building section that's kind of what we just hit and we're just kind of dealing with that for now not saying it's good it's just how it is it's a long house
Bolton board can just go out here. Oh, because we <laughs> we imported Losa's picture into the game, so we had a custom character with her picture. Okay, and this is let's go put that shrine right here. This animal crossing. <laughs> Hate you for making my joke better. <laughs> my gosh. I don't just put a bulletin board in there. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, well, that's good enough for now. Insufficient funds, all right. Purchase BP. I need 18. What in the world is this interval? 18, okay, 18. Hello? There we go. It's fine. A hundred and I'm sure like that much BP costs like an arm and a leg, right? Is that worth it? Sure. I have a mod that lets me give myself money, so it's fine. Bad Age of Empire sound. Oh my gosh. Dear Lord, I need a better treasurer. That's all right. Everything got built. We have some BP from uh Okay, what stats do I have? Like so relations are trash. I'm not sure. Oh, let me see. Uh, Dragon Disciple, just four levels. Wow. 
Why can I not do this if I have the BP for it? Yeah, so we're going to go uh, Vivi 12, Sword Saint 1, Monk 1, Archaeologist 2, Dragon Disciple 4. And to be fair, I'm using mostly a guide to do that build. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I can't upgrade this. So multi-class in half, yeah. Just just take a take a level and everything, man. Alright? There's nothing wrong with that, okay. Okay, I think that's all I need to do there. And if that stuff starts falling apart, we can just give ourselves a million dollars and then just buy our way out of problems. Print more money? Exactly. We will print the money, okay? <laughs> this ain't a legit run, okay? It's a fun run. Bakken, Court Alchemist, sure. More events? Oh my god, I just finished. Let me go uh, recruit him then. Oh, also we leveled up. Let us bide our time. Level uh, eight. Oh, hell yes. Look at these. Oh, heroism? What? What? Um... I have haste on the bard, so I don't need this quite right now. We'll get it, though. Heroism, too, all the bard has. I mean, we could eventually... Um, Invalidate the um, the bard. Um. Does this matter? Because I'm a vivisectionist, so I only affect myself, and I get poison immunity anyway. Must be good, right? Because uh, all the vivisectionist spells lie to you and say they're like, they tell you the target is the same as a normal spell instead of saying it's only personal. So this is communal, but it should only be me. Yeah, I have a, a bard right now. They have heroism. I shall not fail. How are we looking stat wise? 18 without any buffs. Oh, Miri leveled up. Wow. Amazing. Nobody cares. All right. Hey, is that a third attack? Oh, baby. One, two, and then. 
Yeah, so we have a second attack now, and then also the Flurry of Blows attack. AC's a losing man's game? Really? You think so? Hmm. We do, I mean, we have a lot of AC and we have a lot of damage and health, too. Everyone counts on me. The road awaits. If you get hit, you die. I mean, do you know in this game specifically or like just Pathfinder? But yeah, Khan is good in this game. Hitilo. It is. Because, like, yeah, I know if you hit, get hit and you have no health, even though you have like a million AC. Like, Mr. Dodge Tank over here will be nice. And yes, his problem, that's the reason he has con, is because if I get crit, I get hit no matter what my AC is. So, you have to have health even if you are have high, IC, high, IC, high AC. But still. It's not irrelevant. Why would we go into Cleric for AC? Good AC is your level plus 20. So we're level 7, so we need 28 AC. I mean 27 AC. I mean, this guy, the Knife Master should be already be able to do that. And uh, our main character is actually pretty close already. So you don't want to just like get rid of AC. You don't want to always be hit because enemies get do so many attacks. Hello, my savior. You asked if we'd meet again. I I will show you a place. Forgive. <laughs> so. Oh, is this the arcane agent? What's up, bro? I think I know who you are. Yes. I was just watching your guides. How's it going, man? Full bab enemies get one attack per ace. Uh, one attack per level. 20 AC is good at level 1-ish. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so... We're using, I'm using your uh, strength of the sectionist for your main, the main character. And then at most everyone else, I'm like going off other guides, but also just trying to do my own thing. I just wanted to make sure my main character like actually was being effective. <clears throat> so now he's using the quarter staff and he has three attacks. Eight, one AC per bab they get. Hmm. I shall not fail. I mean, yeah, my audio borked on my gaming PC, so I can't stream or record. Oh, that sucks, man. Yikes. Healing and combat is absolute, yeah. Because, like, if you heal and then, like, your pro proc attacks opportunities and stuff. Uh, we're still doing it, Amma. It's just uh, I wanted to try a different game and also kind of take a break from DOS 2. Um, so, actually, Agent, so, like, Pathfinder is not my main game. Like, my main game on my stream is uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. And I just started playing this on stream uh, yesterday. as like a second game to play. So, I mean, yeah, I'm sure I'm excited. Like, I th I'm enjoying my time playing this game now. Like, the first 70 hours of me playing this game, I did not really enjoy that much. Um, but I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So, I'm sure I'll definitely want to play Wrath of the Righteous. Played, like, five hours of DOS 2. Yeah, uh, Divinity is a good game. Um, it's as broken. It's actually it's at least as broken as Pathfinder is. But it is fun. I mean, yeah, you've made plenty of builds that clearly break Pathfinder. Okay, where's Balkan? But yeah, my, uh, my bread and butter is Divinity. Um, like, I know quite a bit about that game. I think I'm, I think I'm coming up on 1,800 hours now. Okay, they said Bakken was here. I don't know where Bakken is. Well, thank you for stopping by, Agent. I appreciate it. And uh, good luck getting uh, everything fixed. Light. 
fucking... Is he just somewhere? Let's go over here. Also, thank you, sir. Go bite trip everything. Oh, that's the plan. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Will do. <laughs> oh, at the end? Okay. That's unfortunate. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Good luck with your uh, PC. I didn't do that that because I just uh, got the uh, region. Okay, if he's there, let's go finish whatever is on the city planner. And then move on. There have not been any more backseat streams. We might do one today if that's what people are interested in. <laughs> There's no rush. I mean, isn't it nice to have the advisor as soon as possible? Not a big deal. Okay. Oh my god. There's just so much. Let's go through all these so they don't show up anymore. There we go. Outside of city management? Okay. Is there any downside of doing these, like, things that are making days go past? I literally, yeah, I just got it. Huge downside? Oh, great. Okay. Like, there I was forced to pass days. Right? invasion. Fantastic. But Crisis, crisis, crisis. Fantastic. Troubled lands. Crisis. Um, how well, uh, how available are crisis points? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Should I reload then, or am I okay? Like, if I just do one, it becomes impossible to fail. I'm probably fine. Okay. It's all about, about that min-max, bro. Um, flooded with monstrous spiders. Oof. That makes sense, yeah. Pretty low chance. Oh, was it per advisor? It's those crisis points. 
Let's just do that's fine. This doesn't look like Necromancer. Very funny. And then... Wow, she's bad at everything. Fantastic. Okay, got you. Let's just start them then. Nobody can't do that. I have played it. I haven't finished it though. Trolls who didn't fear fire? That sounded terrible and dangerous. All right, fantastic. Tread lightly. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> get mass fire traps in the uh, Pathfinder. <laughs> Oops. All right, so there's traders around here. Let's see what they got going for us. And then we can uh, go get Bakken. I don't think we have any... Um... Meet the Nymph. Zarcy. Alright, so a bunch of scrolls. Any scrolls that I just don't need that I can just sell. Trash. Keep those. Rotating, interesting. So are these useful to keep around in case I need a certain element, I'm guessing. <laughs> Let's just keep them, they weigh nothing. And they're not worth a lot, so. Most girls are terrible. Interesting. <laughs> oh boy. At minimum level. Oh, he's BP. All right. So in that case, I can just sell everything that's not a buff. from chaos I'm guessing that's good oh oh I thought that was like uh <laughs> I thought that was, was a um like for raising an undead or something but no it's like raising an actual dead person nice 
bag of holding that we don't have enough money for. Blood blades. That seems pretty good. All right, well. This guy sells gear? Why can't I just sneak and see all of his stuff? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Adamantite full plate, fantastic. No plus the every year, yeah. Big sad. Okay, it's nothing useful. Okay. All right, so let's leave. Let us be uh, tavern. I mean, I already looked through all of it, though. It shouldn't really matter, right? I mean, yeah, this. And Mithril Full Plate. So it has a better high ma max dexterity. I just probably won't be using any heavy armor characters Tread at this point. Lightly. Oh, really? But, like, it's heavy armor, though, right? I just don't see why you'd play a fighter and like use a bow. Impossible. Oh really? The thing is like relatively how how does how good is good? Like compared to like or accomplishing with like vivisectionists and stuff. Like when we say good, is it like, oh, they do 10, 15 damage per hit or something and they hit okay? Or like, is it actually like strong? I think that's it, right? Let's go. Yeah, I just don't know if I'm going to run any bows. Because, uh, range characters will be the Thundercaller, and then, um, a Grenadier, probably. Why does it keep saying new events? Ugh. <sighs> Actually not, don't seem too terrible early game, because you still have grenades that do damage. Okay, do I need to go back and test scale? Because it gives me more events. It makes no sense.
Yeah, getting Bakken. Enemy near. Um, yeah, I don't care about spoilers. I'm the kind of guy who looks up what the final boss is before I fight him. Uh, where's the troll thing? Gnarl marshes. So this way. All right, I'll get cracking on that. Watch each other. Complete your I mean, I want to do as many, uh, much of the content that's in the game as possible, and then, uh, get as high level as possible. An early mana stream? Yeah. <laughs> the road away. To build a workshop for this pleb? What the heck? Really, you have to do stuff in order? Wow. We're level eight. Their MC. I'll go ahead. I feel tired. Yeah, I'll be trying, for sure. Alright, I think I need to go... Does the Merc recruit go to Tuskdale? Is that what happens? I don't know where they go. Got some food? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some food soon, too. I'm on like core rules difficulty, not like normal, because you've said on normal it's like easy. So I said it like normal difficulty on everything. Like normal crits, normal enemies, normal damage. Because I don't, I think uh, especially 
after my experience with like how I got good at DOS 2, like uh, pushing difficulty high when you don't know what you're doing yet is not helpful. It doesn't actually make you better at the game. To teach her how to open Chrome. <laughs> oh my gosh. The path is clear. Aha, uh -huh, so she's here. Um I think we'll stick with uh, Asriel, Knife Master, and uh, Bard for now. Yeah, save the monsters. Yeah, no recourse at all, yeah. It's just like DOS 2, they increase their damage and health. It's like the only recourse is just do more damage. Let us be careful. Oh, that's a lot of rations. 500 gold. That's a thousand pounds, let's not do that right now. Yeah, that's true. Makes it basically just impossible. You just have to min-max your stats to be able to compensate. Alright, let's go get our characters. Um, it said there's more events, so let's go just see what we gotta deal with. And then we can leave with the, the party. Yeah, because you have to deal more damage to health and stuff. That's true. Um, one thing that really frustrated me, um, wasn't like super frustrating, it just like was disappointing. So in Pillars of Eternity, um, my favorite build was uh, a multi-class between Paladin and Rogue. Because you basically could, could uh, play the Assassin subclass. Which makes it where you're, if you're invisible, you do a you have a higher accuracy and higher damage, and then uh, you combine it with the uh, the um, the paladin attack that increases your accuracy when you use it, and increases the damage as well. So when you combine that, like just so you know, accuracy is tied to crit chance essentially. The higher your accuracy is versus the enemy's defense, the higher your chance to crit. So like, if you go invisible, use the paladin ability, and just one shot things with a two hander with a rogue. It was freak, freaking awesome. But because enemy's health is so high on higher difficulties, it doesn't work. Because you just, you hit them, and then after you use it like four or five times, you've only killed a couple enemies, maybe. But then it's like, oh, rip. You're out of resources and they're still alive. All right, we're done.
still says more events. Okay, we're just leaving. I don't know why it just keeps saying uh, events. I have, but not like a ton. I've never like actually been part of a group completely. Someone explain to me why he has bewildering injury. Oh no, it's not on him. It's when he he's giving them injuries. Duh. It's like why is he injured? But he's not injured. He's that's the debuff he applies to enemies. Uh, I played um, what's it called Sword and Sorcery was the first one I played because it was like super basic. So like a group of players that haven't played it really before can get into it. And then I played uh. DD five five E with like my family, which is fun. And then I'm kinda working on a group with my friends that we've had a long time. A lot of trouble getting into. Be careful, oh hello. Oh boy, we need to clean up his hot bar. Fifth edition, yeah, with my friends. Die, die, die. Why can't he cast spells? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, I bet he hasn't prepped any freaking trash. Yeah, five E is great. I think the rule sets probably is really fantastic. <laughs> Freaking main character just killing everything. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and I think less complication is generally better. Uh, Silky, hello? How about you don't? Take this. Oh, look, you're stunned. We do that 39 more times. Uh, fewer people, more XP. Okay, that's not where I, I targeted it here, and it hit my main character. Nice. Now that they're both engaged, you should better attack, right? Hmm, interesting. Why won't, won't it be worth it? Because, like, right now it's making it much easier because I'm already level, uh, 8. Because I do end up coming up out ahead in general. And I know if I just run a full party the whole game, then I'm going to be. Um, I'll go ahead. I'm not going to be able to hit level 20. See, that's kind of the idea is like, do this, get myself early game, and then I'll end up with a stronger party later game. And I'm barely even gimping myself because my characters are just better. Like, that fight was a joke. Shall we move? We shall move. Um. Unless you make it so that people outside the party don't get XP. Yeah, I did that. So you're saying just make it where the outside characters don't, and then have five uh, and then have six characters. Uh, 
Uh, I haven't, not really. I think I mentioned earlier, like, I'd rather play on easier difficulty and, like, learn the game. Because I don't think playing on higher difficulty gives you a good opportunity to learn the game. We should prepare. I don't have the paladin anymore. I can't heal. That is a downside. I need some kind of healer in my in my party. Tread lightly. That was it. Okay. I think the bard does have cure wounds, so she'll heal a little bit of our party when we rest. Yeah, that is true, like random encounters and stuff like that. But you only have limited time, right? For everything, right? Enemy near. Oh, hello. Don't even buff. Oh, it does? Nice. Well, I'm gonna just use this as a this first run as an opportunity to learn, and then uh, if I, I can obviously make different decisions next run. Oh wait, don't thunder call him. Oh, this freaking. I think it's a recruitable, right? I'm not sure. Probably like six or seven, right? Watch each other. I'm just being flooded right now. That's fair. This targeting circle is gonna kill me. Oh no, they killed one. Mind it if you explain anything to me, that's totally fine with me. See you soon enough. Just disappears. Let us be careful. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. I thought he gets a crew right? I've seen builds for him. Go 
Like Jubilus. I thought Jubilus is recruitable. Oh boy. Oh, part of the kingdom. Interesting. Behold the power of F8. Oh, not the kobold. <laughs> I know a knock knock is recruitable. I've never met him though in the in my runs yet. Hey, got it. <laughs> This game runs so slowly. Like, I swear the game gets slower the longer I have it open. First try, every time. Exactly. <laughs> I'll go ahead. It's so bad. Like, how much memory... Let's see how much memory it's using right now. Um... Uh, Kingmaker, very high. It's using 2,800 megabytes of RAM. It slows the memory leak? Okay, let's do that real quick. Limit to 8, because right now it's on 16, and that probably makes it even worse. Jubilos, by the way, it's a shortly some of my servants are still alive. Also, while I'm on that, I'd love so how they have some of the dumbest looking characters called? in this game, by the oh, way. Whatever, never mind. Well, I've already told you I've visited your cat. Yes, you're right. I should have my party and I said, you know what? So I've been explaining my position to him. It will not fix the damage. Oof, too, suggesting he and his so called kingdom that was either his culinary or, or the most didn't read any of these. Oh, well, don't answer that. I don't. I pursued two objectives. The first is to write an article on this new Slow the looting. <laughs> Was a culinary almond or the most scat didn't read any of these oh well don't answer your ignorance is stunning you create you see one of these outposts must be somewhere nearby lost and completely forsaken oh but used by trolls not? hmm like being well you proved hmm. to all right time to go drop him off because he's useless let's see what gear so, he's carrying so we can take it from him ideas? you just take this thank you and take this so light crossbow or the heavy heavy unfortunate Name onto your flesh. What's important? Clever ploy. Did they have a thundercaller? Excuse me. Excuse me. That's that's legal. Only I'm allowed to have thundercallers, okay? Seriously. <laughs> That's dumb. I'm just trying not to pick up the. I'm picking up everything but the armor because the armor is so heavy. And I only have one shrink character in this uh, comp. The path is clear. That makes no sense. Like, they shouldn't be uh, checking that information when it loads a new save like that. Tread lightly.
That's sad. Let us be careful. Guess we can go ahead and buff in case there's any last fights here. Just since we don't need to do anything else. Oh, hello. We should prepare. Chat to get more XP from the Wither More Quest. Talk to him with the jar and agree to destroy the jar. What the heck? Oh yeah, I guess I can just do that, right? Because it doesn't actually affect the difficulty of the game. Um, yeah, it's not already. It's already not affected by it. almost dying because he's level one. The path is clear. Oh, okay, gotcha. So because I am so she has medium encumberment because she has negative strength. But she doesn't really need to move too much and I've used expeditious retreat, that'll fix that. He's freaking great. He's fine. So we're doing fine for now. Los is the only one that's got problems. A solid yeah, I noticed she just like walks play. when she's in combat. But yeah, I got Expeditious Retreat I can use in the future. That's a big boy wolf. Alpha. All my All my genius lost. Tread lightly. I have more ring of protections than I can have characters at this point. All right, so I have to go back to town so I can drop off uh, this useless. Gnome. I'm sorry, ROP. Oh, ring of protection. Yeah. Let us be careful. I'll go ahead. 
So is he an advisor now? Yeah, because I see there's a lot of them. There we go. That sure makes things better. So do you know why it's not letting me upgrade any of this stuff? Because they're already built. I have the BP. Oh, it requires town. I'm not a town, I'm a village. Gotcha. Uh, what's the point of, like, all these different spots for the settlement? No, yeah, it's definitely difficult. Does it matter where I put it? Oh, so does it... Is there a better area than other places that I could put it here? Or just pick one that's, like... We have a river settlement. Hmm. Is one better than the other, or does it really not matter? That's okay. shall not fail. Alright. Probably head towards the trolls now. what you mean. So putting them optimally can be useful. So this is this is still useful there. But yeah, that makes sense. 
Like, I might have wanted to put it, like, up here. That's fine. It's not like make or break or anything, so. Let's Remember, right, there are fights here, so let's uh, do something about that. So many thoughts, so little no, not that, this. Our duty calls. <laughs> I don't think infusion was worth it on him, unfortunately. We should prepare. The road calls me. I'll take the best. I shall not fail. <laughs> Big boy and small kid, yes. <laughs> no, I can't. Too dangerous. Well, then I insisted, but, but I should. Yeah, it's super, still so much going on. Our duty calls to wait. Oh, it's so hard to decide whether to have breakfast or not. Shall we move? We shall move. Seems good. We'll get more AC once we actually attack somebody. Bad. <clears throat> Let's head out. Oh, it is Greece, Web. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's not a fight? Wow. Tread lightly. Enemy near. <laughs> oh my gosh. Four attacks. So he has, um, one second. So he has four weapon attacks, and he has Motherless Bite, and then he has Feral Mutagen. Dude, he has eight attacks. Because <laughs> he attacks with his main weapon four times. Because he has a uh, flurry of blows for two attacks, right? He has uh, he's hit, he's hit his second um, attack from uh, his bab, so that's three, and then four from haste, and then he's got the bite from uh, being a motherless tiefling, and he's got three attacks from uh, feral mugen. So that's eight attacks. Freaking nuts. Yeah, this build's good. <laughs> I 
that's cooking with mayonnaise. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well. Nothing else here. Oh no, not that way. This way. Oh wait, no, I can't go back this way and cross. Uh-oh. This one's quest related apparently because it wouldn't let me evade. Watch each other. Oh. Um, this is a problem. Okay, I've got acid equipped. No, it's reduced person. No. Um, I can't equip these on my... So I lose. I can't... I can't beat this. Oh, fudge. Yeah, but I can't kill him. I don't have anything in my on my uh, item bar. There's nothing I can do. Oh, I can do this seriously. That works. Are you serious? I forgot they have cantrips entirely. Well, she doesn't have anything. What's up, John? Oh, mother of God. All right, buff. Yeah, that'll be unfortunate. No, is all of this blood mine? Never thought I had that much. Powers. Aim carefully. But not Corona. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I guess that is good. <laughs> Attack. How's that guy not dead? Do you have plot armor? Oh no, he didn't have plot armor. Uh, should I try to save him faster? A solid plan. The spell is Surprise! <laughs> oh, he just gets up. Okay, never mind. Your aunt did indeed get Corona. Oh my gosh, man. Sorry to hear that. That's been the whole thing, like, with 
the people at my work, it's like, it's not about us getting it and us getting, uh, like, having, like, a long-term effect or, like, dying from it. It's, it's about us getting it and then giving it to someone else. Which is why, like, we've all tried to be so careful with, you know, getting it. That's horrible. And a bit of self-isolation. Was away snowboarding and drinking last weekend. Yeah. Because that's the worst part is, like... Getting it and giving it to someone else. Over a month? Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. No, oh, yeah, it's, of course. It's no problem at all. Dang, that was rough. All right, well. Oh, it's going pretty well. I'm just getting a little annoying currently finishing up Act 1, but otherwise it's fine. It's just very tedious. That's the main thing I just don't enjoy about it. It's not even difficult, it's just tedious. Yeah, we started it a couple, uh, streams ago. It's alright, don't worry about it. You haven't missed much, we've just gotten to, like, the middle of the swamps. Let us be careful. Can I not do anything about this tree for him? The path is clear. So the Nolan Wolf, Nolan Wolf Knight? Nice. Knight is fun. I feel tired. It's all about, uh, because the, the main thing you just have to learn from going from Lone Wolf to, uh, From Lone Wolf to uh, No Lone Wolf is just being efficient with your actions. Because you just have less margin for error. error. Because if you're gearing properly, you're not actually losing that much damage. You are, I mean, you're losing damage, but don't get me wrong. But like, you're not losing so much damage that it's just like make or break. So it's really just being about AP efficient as you, as you can. Yeah, because you, you can still get Executioner, all the good stuff. Is that a good dog or is it just leading me to a trap? Let's head out. Oh. What's a recruitable? Whom you brought? Get lost, dog. You're not needed here. Ekundayo. Ekar's body's been patched up already. This wound isn't the dead. The name gave it up. Not mine. 
sitting, waiting. The name's Ekandayo. They all deserve. Have been hunting trolls. You were not known. Didn't. Fire arrows couldn't murder them. Now I know the reason. The troll feet often followed this path. Can't hunt them. We'll mark up your map all the place. The spirit is. One more thing before we go. Troll feet tread this path often. Yeah, my understanding is he's actually one of the better recruitables. The forest makes care for everyone. Today it shelters and feeds you. Tomorrow it feeds someone else with you. Why, why would they be um, better in the video game format? In the actual Pathfinder? Hmm. Longbow? Okay, so I can't give him. Wait, so he can't do composite line longbow because he's proficient in regular longbow? Or is proficiency with longbow both of them? Yeah. Now, but in this game, you can be very specifically know what you're going to face. Okay, so we can give him the, the Slayer Bow for now. Since he's just in our party, might as well. Longbow is Longbow. Gotcha. It's plus five to his dex. Dang. This guy's got some real stats. All right. All right. An actual recruitable character? Can you believe that? That's insane, guys. Wow. Like that stat spread is nice. Let me guess, kobold or like human or something? Giant humanoids? <laughs> Our duty calls. Okay, I have only two acid flasks. All right, so we have a problem. <clears throat> Everyone counts on me. All right, time for big boy, small boy. I shall not fail. The road awaits. I crave for adventure. Be on guard. Might just get a different character though. Because he's five, level 5.
Oh yeah, I know campaigns are busted in this game. Like, if you just want to play the game easily, just play six characters with uh, companions. I see John. Thanks for hanging out. I've spotted something. Oh, so he's not getting a bonus from Bark Skin because he has the Viper and Skin Cloak. Yeah, core rules basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't realize I had that bonus from that, though. So I can just cast it on the uh, Knife Master. Yeah, I think dodge bonus is like one of the only ones that does actually stack all the time. on me the path is clear yeah dodge feet monk passing I swear it's got to be the window mode that's making uh, every everybody move slower. And yeah, if I keep running these trolls, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have to find some kind of acid. Maybe just add a spellcaster or something. Maybe um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I can add that'll give me it consistently. Oh, they're troll dogs or whatever. Never mind, this makes no sense that they can't die from anything but acid damage. Something here. Let's head out. Yeah, like my character has slowed down and stuff, and then I've, I've been tapping out and tapping back in, and that sometimes helps, but not really. I see blood. Blood. Oh, fudge. Okay, I have one left.
Oh, I saw something. I mean, there was a uh, Arcane Trickster build I saw that, like, multi-classes into Wizard. So I could even replace the Knife Master with that. Like an Arcane Trickster knife build. So I have that covered as well, but I don't have to run on caster. Is it ass? <laughs> Look how slow my character is moving. Like, what is this? Well, hello. Bite? What? What does, mean, what does it mean, item lost? Bite. Let us be careful. I think I cast slow on all my characters. The path is clear. Be careful, everyone. <laughs> These stuns are funny. Can I like hit them, please?
Yeah, so it's um based on the bard's saving throw, right? So it should be good. Oh, really? Is there a place I can see his, her, uh, DC? Well, it's, so I... Maybe it's different in Pathfinder Kingmaker? Because it's uh, it says seventh level caster is the same uh, caster level as her level. So yeah, it should be good. Caster level, so 10, set plus 7. Plus the charisma bonus, which is 6, right? Spell level. Well, it's not a spell, right? Because Thundercall is not a spell. So, how does that work? DC 19. So, so plus three. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm, I have plus six charisma and then half my caster level is three. So that's still a better DC than a spell would be, right? Yeah, because at that level 20, it'll be plus 10 DC. So even with my current charisma, that'd be 26 DC, right? If at max level. Alright, so it'll be good. Yeah, because basically replacing my uh my song or whatever you call it. Pretending. <laughs> Bard is just pretending. My god, I'm gonna have to restart the game at this point. It's so slow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're dead. I have no... I know it's the rain, but it's also like the game. Dude, I think we're dead. I don't have any, uh... Mega sad, guys. Mega sad. I don't have enough acid flasks to get left, I don't think. Yeah, she's out. So this one's a red one. So we still lose. I can run. Is
Is that immunity, or can I still hit him with fire and then win? Okay, this is bad. What the? Why Chief Thunder call right there? Learn from my mistake. All I see is blackness. From my mistake. All right, wipe guys. I require healing. Unfortunate. All right, so we're going to need to leave and come back, basically. Let's just, like, yeah, let's just leave and come back. I'll go ahead. And finish this area. Yeah, we need way more acid. Man. Yeah, too bad Bar doesn't have one. Oh, he does have reduced person. It just lasts like no time at all because he only has two level two BB. So it lasts for like what two minutes maybe. How much is it? Yeah, he's only level two BB. Yeah, two minutes because he's knife master, scaled fist, and then vivisectionist. I might respec him. I'm thinking if I go comma instead of Kirky, Kukri, I can do uh, flurry of blows. But does flurry of blows work? That's the kind of character you throw out of your game. Why? <laughs> because it's not not. <laughs> Doesn't fit the uh, role play. <laughs> okay, Floria blows. Where is Floria blows? There it is. Okay, so. So does this not. Oh, yeah, make it. Possible. I mean, the main character is Ultra Min Max, too. That's why, that's why, like, I like uh, D D Five E. Is like, you can play powerful characters, but like, there's like, it's like almost impossible to just b build this, these broken builds like this. Okay, so I don't think this works properly with two two dual wielding. I'm sure you can, but so I don't know if you know this. So how flurry of blows works with dual wielding? Druid barbarian. Because <laughs> if I get like comma, like the comma one handers and dual wield on this guy, but are comma even finesse weapons? Because they're not finesse weapons. It doesn't matter. 
Um, oh, it does. Okay. I just I don't. I need to check if comma are do are um, functional. If that's the case, we'll respec. Well, yeah, I'm proficient from the monk weapon proficiencies, right? I know I'm proficient. Because if we go comma, um, okay, let's just let's just go look. I can go check the traders too to buy some comma and look at them. The downside is if I do Flurry of Blows, I lose the crit that the Kukri give me. I feel tired. Um, he's a uh, Scaled Fist. Bab 5. Yeah, the game's running slow. Look how slowly he's walking. Let me save the game, and we're going to reload it, and then... See if that fixes it. So I'll reopen the game just real quick. I'm also going to take a quick break. I'm going to get a drink and some more food, and we'll be back. Just losing two... Yeah, one for a Yeah, definitely losing some bab. Monk is full bab. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some, a drink and uh, reset the game and all the good stuff. I'll be right back.
Um, so, I'm not sure. That's why I'm just trying to weigh the, the benefit slash downside of uh, Monk versus uh, Knight. So, um, basically the comp I'm going to eventually go for, I think I'm going to run only two frontliners. So that'll be my main character and then this knife boy here. So I'm just trying to weigh, is is it worth it to be running uh, Knife Master? Because yes, the sneak attack die are nice. Um, but if Kama are finesse wielding, like finesse weapons as well. I can use them, still get my dex to my my dex bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls. And then um, get Flurry of Blows as well for my level one uh, monk. I won't be leveling up an arm because we're only taking one level in monk. It won't. So basically we'd spec into something else. So I'm thinking it like if we go um, instead of the knives class feature so so yeah so this is the sneak stab that's what we're getting from knife master so I'm thinking like if we go comma we're not gonna be able to use knife master with it which is fine but we could do a different subclass like thug and get bonuses from thug like with intimidates and stuff. Yeah, we have Kirky. No, Kukri. I'm just thinking there's a number of benefits if we use, um, like, Kama instead. Yes, we lose uh, the Knife Master um, sub, sub uh, class, but we can still go rogue and get things like thump something from Thug. We already are going to have, like, OK Charisma. Because we're using scaled fist, so we can do intimidate checks, right? Also, I can, um, like my main character. No, I'm just saying if we respec him, because I can respec him still. Because uh, I'm thinking, like, uh, if I do a subclass like Thug, I can also get Feral Mutagen on him as well. Which means his sneak attack will also apply if I get Feral Mutagen. I'll go ahead. Why doesn't it stack? I mean, I have the tiefling. That's what the guide, build guide told me to do is motherless for the bite. And then also feral mutagen. Yes, it does include a bite, bite attack. Let us bide our time. So motherless gives a bite attack. And then feral gives bite and claw. <clears throat> Okay, that's interesting. Um, maybe we could see about respecting him into a different. Um, and when I say respect, I'm literally talking about like we're using a mod to let us re, re respect all like their class and everything in race. I mean, he like bites twice with an animation. We should prepare. Everyone counts on me. 
Okay, well, let's go in the next fight. Let's like let's like watch him do it and see if he actually attacks twice. I still think Feral Mutagen uh, might be useful for the uh, Knife Master. Like, if we respec him. The path is clear. Yeah, that would be a <laughs> one heck of a nice bug, huh? Hmm. All right, we need acid flasks. Someone sold me all of your acid flasks. Flasks. The wand of acid flask, <laughs> if that's even a thing, or a wand of the uh, the acid like cantrip. Ooh, uh, why does it when you open their menu they start like in the middle here? Hmm. thing of your choice <laughs> that seems good so we have combat expertise secondary natural hmm Hmm. Plus two production. <laughs> oh, it's a tower shield. Uh, no goblet, I don't think we can. Now what I can do is I can come over here to my cheat menu and go cost and money. that <laughs> one thing though is that if you go for fist and use amulet of mighty fist or natural attacks will also get enhanced Ooh. so would it really matter if he only takes one level in monk then in that case right because um you don't really care about your fist leveling up I mean, the dice get bigger right but like a lot of our damage is going to be coming from sneak attack and our dex bonus, right? So we're not really worried about our dice on our fists. Yeah, they do 1d6, but like, does it actually matter? Because our sneak attack and our dex bonus. In that case, do I even need to go... Uh, not, uh, like, rogue at all? <laughs> You're just abusing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't even need to go rogue at all. I think I can go with thug. But with my fists... Would my fists get full dex? Like, my fists, the attack and damage rolls, are those, are, are the, is it attacking dex or is it using strength? Because I want to be able to use dex with whatever weapon I'm using for both my attack and finesse. Uh, attack and damage rolls. I have to go all the way up to Oleg to trade. That sucks. 
Or did Oleg come with us, or is he still up at his place? Yeah, feet would be definitely nice for that. I'll go ahead. Dex to damage? Yeah. I want both. I want my decks to affect my attack rolls and damage rolls. That way we can just ignore strength and then do reduce person and all that good stuff. Because his his point is to be do some damage with sneak attack, but also never die because he's frontline. So he needs to have a lot of AC. I mean, if not, let's just I'm gonna go check Oleg. I mean, uh, comma are fine. If they if they have finesse, then comma are fine. And we can just go three points in thug or whatever, four points in thug. I feel tired. Let's head out. What's up, Genesis? <laughs> also, by the way, I believe it was your birthday. Happy birthday. This amulet for decks to damage a kingmaker. Nice. Maybe the body fists. Okay, that does it. Masterwork, comma. I blind? It's in April. Oh. Well, I guess my calendar was incorrect. Well, happy early birthday then. <laughs> I think you're, uh, anyways, I'll talk to you about it later, but I, th I thought on my calendar, I have, basically I have all of, uh, my coworkers' birthdays imported on my calendar, and it says it was, like, this month, so I guess that's incorrect. Am I blind? Where is it? Masterwork? I can't rely on you for nothing. Oh, wow, okay. I see how it is. Fine. I swear, let me, I'm gonna check my calendar right now. You're getting roasted, like, I see how it is. I swear, I swear it said on my calendar, your birthday was last month, or this month. Yes, it said it was this month, what's going on? See, my calendar lied to me. Seriously, you post it on Slack? <laughs> Oh, is that why I'm getting hurt? Okay, let me see. Let me see your stupid post. Wow, did you actually? You will need Amulet of Agile Fist for bigger damage, otherwise you can multi-class one level knife master to get decks to damage to scale damage on chosen weapon early. Hmm. So but even that, so what's the reason I would take fists over just using comma? 
and then uh, going going uh, dex to damage from my thug subclass. You are right. So okay. Is there is that is that easily accessible or do, is it gonna take me a long time to get there? The weapon themselves. Hmm. Okay. In that case, let's keep the uh, rogue how he is for now. Also, do you know if trader inventories refresh at all? Yeah, our links are fine. Wait, the Psy are monk weapons? Heck yeah. <laughs> also, can I just do this? Can I go... I can just do this for now. Oh, I think I already saw on the map, so it's actually very soon. Agile of Fists, a necklace for... Okay, can I scroll on the page? Hello? Oh, it doesn't have any info on it, okay. Weapon finesse feet. Oh, so I still have to have weapon finesse. Can I just spec weapon finesse? That's yeah, very, very bare bones. Hmm. This is fine for now until I respec. Like, I get an extra attack. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to respec either way because I'm not gonna be using Knife Master anymore. Okay, so I so do this. I just, wanna, I just wanna see. So, Flurry of Blows, I'm guessing, is independent of each arm. Each hand. Oh, that's not the equip spot. This is the I'm an idiot. By first day. So it's only gonna do it on the main hand. Okay, I'll reload so I don't buy that. That's interesting. I still think that's uh Kind of interesting. So I only get it on the uh, main hand. Yeah, so I'll just do a build like that. It gives me a free extra attack. Anything else I need to buy from him before I leave? Does he have any acid flasks? Please. Maybe Oleg does. I'm blocking. Monk can make a flurry of blows as a full attack action. One additional attack. So I guess when I. Because basically, where it works is you full attack with your first hand, and you have the option to attack with your off hand. So I only am ever going to get one more.
<laughs> Just tie, it is. <laughs> Alright. So this is fine for now. Main hand monk weapon for extra flurry of blows. Attack. And then uh, off offhand kukri. A kukri for that for the crit range. Yeah, if the bites stack, right? Let's see. So Because this mutagen gives me three attacks. He gains two claw attacks and a bite attack. So I'm assuming the claw attacks stack, right? Because he's getting it from the same ability, right? So that's three attacks there. And if the bites are stacking, that's four there for Motherless. Then he has three normal attacks because of Flurry of Blows and his Bab bonus one. So that's uh, seven. And then he gets eight if he has Haste cast on him. And then whenever you respect him, we can give him... Really? I don't know, it's like strategy a lot of people use apparently, so... And then there's a consideration that we might... If the, if the bites do stack... So, let's, let's say this, so... We're gonna respect the halfling whenever we get that amulet. Um, and if the bites are stacking... We might just make him a tiefling. Motherless as well. Because then he'll have... <laughs> a stupid amount of attacks as well. It's not it's not broken or anything. Don't worry about it. <sighs> My life is a burden. Because motherless actually works perfectly for him. Because we'll just, instead of going Scaled Fist, we'll go Traditional Monk. That way we use our Wisdom instead of a Charisma for the AC bonus. And then Motherless gives Wisdom and Dex. Am I right? No. Oh, it's Strength. Hmm. I mean, he still takes points out of Strength. We lose Intelligence. I oh, know, we'll see. I just stick with halfling. It's just one attack. One out of eight attacks. It's okay. <laughs> Not broken or anything. All right. So the place we're looking for. Lone house, right? So we have eighty. I think. I think I have like forty or forty-five. I don't feel like it's actually that complex. It's just like hit person with stick. I feel tired. <laughs> Win game. Like. That's what my main characters are. The main two characters are doing the melees. Um, okay, so did it, did a event just end poorly? Yeah, complex on paper, not in battle. There's no new toss team on, looks cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, what's up, Shinra? <laughs> Slone Wolf Pathfinder Edition. <laughs> I mean, in some ways, this game does have, like, Lone Wolf talent, because less characters means more XP. Oh, boy. Encounter.
All right. It is Losa. <laughs> you have a problem, Shinra? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> uh, yes. So, because of how, uh, how I have the XP setting set, um, XP is divided among the characters in my party. And since I have less than a full party, they get increased XP, essentially. So, I'm leveling up faster. That chiseled jawline. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let us be careful. Can you get I mean there are dwarfs. We can make a we can make a dwarf. Wait, does um dwarf count as a size smaller? Like a, like a halfling? You could play a, a dwarf monk. Instead of the halfling. <laughs> Swing and a miss? What I miss? I miss whatever your joke this one then was. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could go, uh... Ninja Beast? We could do Beast, right? Because, like, dwarves give con and whiz. Oh, off meta. But the con and whiz from, uh... Dwarf? Oh, that's your wrestling, too. So training, I mean, I guess it actually sort of is, but BG3 is turn-based, though, so, like, it's not really, not really going to be good training. I feel tired. Let's go finish the Ruined Watchtower. I hope the god know, and I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, nothing we've seen so far would tell me that it would have that, so. I actually did download it. I have it installed, but eh. Is clear. I talking about like the the music from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, there's too many decisions that they made, which I think, like I think every decision they made makes sense. I don't necessarily agree with the decision. Shall we move? Enemy near. Oh, whoops! I should have buffed for this fight. That's fine. No, over here. <laughs> good, good piano. Uh, what do you mean go with the guide? Like the build guide I was using, or what do you mean? Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay, so Asriel... thing is like an enemy has to survive long enough for him to take two bites at a turn how do I, how do I see the end of a round yeah so there's a um a bite there 
And then, so Asriel bites there. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's shake a leg. Our duty calls. Our duty calls. Oh, they will? Okay. Let us bide our time. Let us bide our time. Everyone counts on me. The road awaits. We should prepare. I crave for adventure. We should prepare. The road awaits. For another weapon attack, that means you have two bite attacks. Oh, oh baby. Quick, quick. That sounds pretty good. Two bite attacks. Alright, how are we looking on dexterity on this guy? 30? Yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't play a build that d relies on pre-buffing to be max power. Like honestly, I'd probably just play like a fighter or something. Oh yeah, and bugs too, yeah. I mean, most of this, like what you're seeing right here is just, um, like it's just the way the spells are helping them. But yeah, I mean, it's not really relying on the bite. The bite is just sh like, icing on, on the cake, I think. <laughs> Look how small the halfling is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's head out. Let's now this is the speed I'm talking about. Oh, I forgot to equip the acid flask. Let's equip some more. Apparently I can do that in combat, so... No big deal. So that three attacks right now, potentially with a bite for four. As a monk. No, so like, just with... I'm not relying on... Any, well, so if he didn't have the bite, let's say he didn't have the bite from Motherless, he still gets three attacks from uh, Feral Mutagen. Right? So he'd still have six. And he'd still have seven if he had haste. Which I don't have haste at the moment. What do you mean, no? Oh, because they don't stack in pen and paper? Oh, that's lame. I don't think it's a bug, because it's just how they made it function. This, this thing. Wow, good game, trolls. Be fast, boys. Spotted something completed. Enemy near. The 
path is clear. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, this one. I think this thing. Oh, no, do that. Something here. Done. Tread lightly. Call my name onto your flesh. Um, yeah, so if you look in, it, it's a setting. So automatically, your XP is divided between all characters in your party. All characters that are not currently in your party and characters you haven't met yet. I'm not even joking. So what I have set here is that only active companions receive experience. So that means characters that are currently in my party when I'm adventuring. So only the characters I'm using are getting XP. And only the people who are using a skill get the experience for that skill check. So if I like disarm a trap, only the person who disarmed a trap gets the XP. So that way um, I can make my main character a higher level and only the people in my party a higher level. And since my main character is doing most of the skill check, checks, you'll notice that he's a, literally a level ahead of both these guys. So um, that way you can crank up your main character's level and then the smaller party's level and then recruit higher level mercenaries more easily. Works very nicely. That way I can have a stronger party and see how builds work out sooner. Why is he like sitting right there? It's something. I mean, I thought they cost zero dollars. Hmm. <laughs> Let us be careful. Oh, hello. They cost zero dollars, bro. Yeah, fair warning, Ty. I'm 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 I've modded it. We're recruiting mercs is free, <laughs> Aim because the companions this game gives you are such trash. Like literally nine out of ten of them are trash. And like, if you do want to go recruit a mercenary, you have to spend all the money you've made the, the entire campaign just to recruit them. So since I'd rather play with builds that I would like like enjoy playing with, I'm, I'm just making them free for now. This isn't really a challenge run exactly. It's just hey, learning the game. Trying to min max, commence. have fun. It's like that visual animation's busted. But yeah, like I think like level three or four, like a merc cost twelve thousand gold. And for reference, this is how much gold I have right now: twenty thousand at level seven or eight. I oh, don't don't even thought called shit. Was that trapped? Let us bide our time. Done. So yeah, the mods I have installed, they're not too hard to install. So I have UI extensions, which makes the UI better. Uh, I have turn-based combat, we're not using that. I just played with it a little bit. Uh, Respecialization, this mod lets me respec characters. Um, so... If you want to play with the characters the game gives you, but you want them to be better classes, you can do this. So like, you know, all the characters that you just find along the on the along the way, you can just use the specialization to respect them. Um Yeah, I have that, yeah. Um But it would it would be kinda it cause another like problem, like since I'm trying to increase my XP. Um, they'd have to be in my party to get the experience, so like, they'd be under-leveled all the time, basically. 
Um, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, and you can use Bag of Tricks to give yourself money to pay for that respec. Or you can come into Bag of Tricks and you can say Mercenary Cost Multiplier is zero. That makes them free. Uh, you on uh, It's called the Mod Manager. You just download it off of uh, Nexus Mods. It's actually pretty easy to install. Uh, but yeah, both these are very, very useful. Bag of Tricks, if you're tired of like things costing you money. And then, yeah. Respell Civilization, just to respect people. We've been using this to like respect if we... Like, once we've, like, played with the build and seen if it works or not. Also, my buffs are going to wear off if I keep standing here. I'll go ahead. Too bad she can't I cast Exhibition Retreat on, uh, little, uh, half Halfling over there. <clears throat> it's unfortunate. Um, oh, they're thunder calling. That's no fun. Yeah, it makes the game much more accessible. Yeah, no problem. Alright. Freaking tank getting scrubbed here. She did learn that. So many thoughts, so little time. Yeah, I had a save right there, so we're good. Just press F8 in a uh, pen and paper. The road awaits. Enemy near. Die! Die! All right, this thunder call is gonna annoy me. Why did I die? Uh, so my buffs wore off. He was already half dead when we started the fight, and then um, I got crit on. <laughs> just like the PNP. Is that a meme that like, people do a lot in pen papers? Like, can I just reload? Alright, Thunder Call can suck it, okay? It's actually really nasty against me. Oh, I think I, I think I just hit my own guy. My Did you see that? 
I, I did already. <laughs> Don't worry. I did it. Tread lightly. Enemy near. I do have the mod. I don't know if we want to turn it on, though. You definitely have to teach me if we didn't want to play with it. See, look how slow my characters are walking. It makes no sense. Like, the game's lagging. I bet you if I went full screen, it would stop happening. I spy. What do I spy? They were running faster Watch earlier. Alright, Thundercall. Hehe, <laughs> mass stuns. Literally just stunning everyone. Path is clear. I'll carve my name oh, onto your flesh. Oh, we're taking damage. Why is he not sneak attacking when I have flanking? May I see your yes. entrails, please? Because they're both flanking him, right? Because as long as they're both attacking him, that concept is flanking in this game, I believe. I rock. Okay. Check that out. Be careful, yeah! everyone. <laughs> That's so good. I may have to try playing solo at some point with this game. Just have to find a build that plays well with it. The path is clear. Oh, this stupid thing. Let us bide our time. Tread lightly. <laughs> Round Robin? <laughs> Maybe leveled up with a bard. Nice.
Ouais. We have a higher mobility bonus than the check has DC. <laughs> nice. Do you delay and say delayed forever? Oof. PNP just means pen and paper because like these kind of computer games are just based on the pen and paper games like Dungeons and Dragons and uh, Pathfinder. Where's that ring? Is it not a usable? Does nothing? Okay. I love that when it does nothing. We just keep cr cranking her charisma saves. Slow seems good. Feather step just seems good for certain situations. Oh, it's not very good? Okay. Oh, it does. So, good hope seems good. I just can't think of what my other morale bonuses are. So, it's morale bonus there. Since I'm not using Inspired Courage. Displacement. Oh, what the fudge. <laughs> So, I mean, Good Hope seems actually good for this build, right? Because, like, I'm not going to be using my buff to my team. Since I'll be using my Thunder Calls and I can't be using my song or whatever, this will basically replace that. And it lasts forever. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, displacement seems good as well. I could have dropped the confusion. I should have done that instead of diffusion. I mean confusion. Yeah, let's go good hope, uh, I think. And then we'll just grab displacement if we get another one. I think my character's going to learn. My main character's going to learn displacement anyway. Because this will basically, since I'm being, I'm thunder calling instead of buffing my team, this will be a replacement essentially. We also have Storm Call. That's not very good. So, base, good old Thunder Call does more damage than this. So, I guess the point of this would be like passive damage. Like, while you're just attacking normally and stuff. I 
I shall not fail. Should it be full casters? Yeah. I mean, they're good, they're just not very good for offense. A spell to, I mean, there's a person that let you recruit people. I mean, off meta isn't, aren't they good in the game though? Like they seem like they, they have good, useful spells. I think they're performing well, it seems like. Like this party, at least. Let's shred them. I mean, bards seem good in 5e. Is all of this blood mine? So much for being a tank. I require healing. So should I drop the bard? Yeah, because I'm getting the stuns. Yeah, the Thundercaller seems to be working great in this run so far. Again. What's up, Pablo? <laughs> My name onto your flesh. Vanilla bars, yeah. And of course, guess what? One of the first characters they give you is a vanilla bard. Am I gonna get raided every time because I'm on top of a bandit camp? <laughs> That's probably why I'm getting raided. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they give you the worst subclass of fighter. They give you a vanilla barb. No one cares about vanilla barbarians. They give you this cleric who's like, whatever. A forest encounter. Well, jokes on you, I'll rest 10 feet away. Keep trying to just, yeah, I'll just rest over to the side. Uh, I'm over encumbered? What? Pfft, come on. What am I? Oh, all this armor. Oops, drop. The legendary con war cleric? No. How about no? What does she have, like, 16 strength and that's, like, her highest stat? What am I carrying that weighs so much? It's all these weapons. And that's fine for now. Oh, 14? Oh my god. <laughs> that's insane. Her con is 16, isn't it? Memes? I mean, Everyone counts on me. for multi-classing to three different classes <laughs> to get all the little things that are really helpful. Our main character attacks uh, up to eight times a turn. <laughs> three times with a quarter staff. He bites the enemy twice and he claws them twice. I mean, Khan is actually not bad in this game. <clears throat> like, our uh, Knife Master Rogue is... Multiclassing into Monk, so he gets more AC dodge because of his charisma. Just like in PMP, right? <laughs> I crave for adventure. I'll go ahead. So, 
the uh, the way you attack an enemy is actually one of the most important mechanics in this kind of game. So in pen and paper games, you have two rolls you have to do when you attack someone. The first roll you make when you roll your dice is the attack roll. Um, that attack roll is going to determine if you hit the enemy. So when you roll for your attack roll, you roll a d d20, and then you add whatever modifier you get. So in this case, my bonus is I get plus 11 on my attack. So I roll a d20. Let's say I roll a 10. You add 11. I roll a 22. The number you roll on your attack has to be equal or higher than their armor class value. So an enemy has to roll a total of 20 or higher to hit me. And in the event they roll lower, they just miss entirely. If they roll equal to or higher, then uh, they get to roll for damage and see how much damage they do to me. So think of it as like dodge chance almost. I think those are enemies, so let's just... The road awaits. So many thoughts, so little time. The road awaits. We should prepare. Our duty calls. Everyone counts on me. We miss all the fun. Observe the others. Learn from their mistakes before they learn from yours. Yes. Yes. your flesh And she's actually not missing. She's actually got some hits. You can do some hits. That's not bad at all. Maybe, um, let's see. So let's look at her class. So classes. So is deadly performance even worth it? So I'm thinking maybe I can dip into some other class or something. Yes, it is a Dark Souls reference. Yeah, our halfling is a... <laughs> He's the guy from Dark Souls. I mean, I could dip. Oh, but you're right. That would ruin my DC on the uh, save. You're right, fam. That's true. My gosh. All right. Well, strong boy here gonna smack him with his staff. From what I've seen in this playthrough, yes, yeah, you are correct. I mean, this character is not multi-classing, so some builds and classes are made more effective by having uh, being higher level in a specific class. So, like spellcasters, they are they rely on being. Um, higher level in the, their same class to get their bonuses. So like our bard is a single class because the difficulty on the saving throw for the enemies when we use thunder, thunder call is higher the higher level we are. You also get more thunder calls. All right. A solid plan. Stunned. I 
I mean, when you say they don't multi-class, like, they, they still would go, like, the, uh, other classes, like the Arcane Knight, or whatever they call them. Like, all the, I guess, subclasses, or secondary classes. I don't know how they refer to it in pen and paper. It's a tell for problem players. Well, hey, I'm playing against the video game, not against the actual uh, DM. So, it's all right. It's all it's all good here. So we are memeing, yes. Also rare because it's just not good. Dang. Hey, there's a wand of cure light wounds. Oh, I don't want the armor. Oops. Oh well. The path is clear. All suck, dang. That's unfortunate. Well, unfortunately for me, the class being good is tied directly to how fun they are. <laughs> My life is a burden. Something like advanced mechanics of the devs nerfed during development for being too broken ended up being useless. We need to head back to uh, rest. I mean, to, to offload stuff. We have too much stuff in our inventory. Tread lightly. All right, what we got? Oop. Let us be careful. Let us buy Don't mind me while I pre-buff. Me? <laughs> yeah, are you watching the right stream? I, I certainly like pre-buff. <laughs> Adventure. Not that, this one. Hey, we need a screwdriver today? Did you actually? I saw that uh, Ray sent me a video, Alejandra, of you guys. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. I assume today went well, since I wasn't there. <laughs> Unfortunately, even if you did need a screwdriver. And by the way, there's a screwdriver emote on Twitch now, thanks to you guys. Someone uh, spam the screwdriver emote if you don't mind. <laughs> there you go. There's the screwdriver emote on the Twitch channel. All right, can we? Uh... Shall we move? We shall move. A solid plan. Oh, just for two bandits. Oof! I think I uh, overprepared. Uh, it's an inside joke at my work, and then uh, since all my coworkers joined the chat like uh, a week ago, <laughs> everyone said uh, they wanted the screwdriver emote, so we did a sub goal. I guess you missed that day. Uh, is she summoning? I think she's summoning enemies. None of that. Just killed her with Thundercall? Wow. 
much wow, very cool. Sub goal and you weren't part of it, apparently. Ooh, there we go. There we got it, guys. Amulet of Agile Fists. Disappointed. But to be fair, you already still hold the, the record of uh, donated subs here. You have 21 donated subs on this channel, which FYI is almost a third of my total subs on this channel. <laughs> a game where magic is good. I know, right? Wow. Excuse me, we are your followers since day one. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, this, so this is, um, weapon finesse feat. This amulet allows her to apply dexterity modifier and place drink modifier to damage rolls with all unarmed and natural weapon attacks. Magic is king in Pathfinder. Yep. Yeah, so like uh, the physical classes are like like weapon classes are actually still really good. One second. So this is curious. Okay, so here's a problem. <clears throat> if I go unarmed, I lose the third attack. Is that my understanding? I'll lose a third attack if I go unarmed? Cause yeah, see, like I have one, two, three. Yes, you can. So in that case, it might still be better to do this kind of uh, monk weapons instead of uh, the amulet. <clears throat> However, oh, rice, nice. However, I could still use this for the the bite attacks. Huh. Gandalf maker. <laughs> this is interesting. I don't know how I'm going to build this character. Um, getting the mods now. <laughs> oh, the mods I mentioned. And yeah, you can just get a you can just literally download portraits and like make portraits for this game of the Lord of the Rings characters and actually have them in your party. Halfling can your uh, hobbits can just be halflings. I think we're going to go See the problem is we lose attacks. So if you notice if I take these weapons off and I start going unarmed to benefit from these amulet of agile fists, we lose an attack. Because Flurry of Blows is not keeping into account for my offhand and I can't just equip one offhand. That's strange. It's 15 to 17 damage. Huh. 
Harvest Dwarfs Elves and the damn good Gandalf. You human. Yeah, that's great. Get Gimli in there with his uh <laughs> his hand axe, or I guess that's you can do a two handed axe. What do he he probably has like a one handed axe. No, he's like a two handed axe all 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 uh, all the movies. And then your uh and then Aragorn can be a melee ranger. Because rangers are good in this. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing this guy, this guy now. Uh, let's go back to town and then respec him. After we do this whole area. I'll go ahead. No secrets can escape my pride. Because taking advantage of the flurry of blows is very, very nice, I think. Completed. Let's head out. I've spotted something. I shall not fail. Done. I spy. What do I spy? Path is clear. Enemy near. Wait, did he just lead me into a trap? Something here. Oh no, he didn't. He just was like showing me, I guess. Oh, is he gonna do it for me? Oh, he's got an acid spell. Be class locked. Um, but uh, one thing, Hatilo, is that the uh, classes being unlocked is part of what makes. Um, the game so broken having a much more restrictive system like that is actually better like that's part of why like even pa pillars of eternity is still busted but it's still less busted because there's a much more limited range of what you can accomplish with your builds um because basically like you can balance everything with less other things to be considered because um i'm trying to think of I th like the best example i can think of is actually from uh the game warframe where like uh, for example, there's one ki one uh, Warframe in the game where like you could basically clone yourself and each of your clones had a weapon So like there was a meme where if you played that that character and you cloned yourself to have your weapon have multiple copies of your weapon You could just use like AOE cleave weapons and then just clear entire maps and like break the game because you have like five copies of your 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 shotgun or whatever it may be right so they had to tune and 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 balance weapons based on that on that one frame right so by let by uh, by locking classes, you, you run into fewer problems. Where like, oh, we have to balance this spell um, because it's too powerful because of how it interacts with this other thing, right? So that makes it much more controlled that way. If you have things class locked, and yeah, cla like Pathfinder is busted because everything is multi-classable. Uh, well, Pathfinder is bro broken because it's got way too many classes. Like, if there's fewer classes and like you you can uh, you can Keep into consideration all class combinations. It's much more balanced that way. Done. Nineteen natural attacks. Oh my gosh. Let us be careful. No secrets can escape my prying gaze. What do you think of it? Do you think I'm looking forward to it? I mean, I don't really. We don't have really a lot of information to go off of yet to like make a conclusion about how it's going to be yet. So I'm not really going to be too worried about drawing conclusions about it until we see it. Somebody save you. Okay. What do you want, What do you want, kid? I have been to... Yeah, don't... That's fine. Like, I'm not worried about answering a question multiple times. Not literally everyone is in the stream every time I stream, so... An average? Okay, not that much. Relax. The 
path is clear. I've spotted something. We should prepare. How are we doing on XP? On our way to level 9. Nice. I think, uh... Little boy will level up soon. Almost level 8. He's behind the other two for some reason. Tread lightly. Something here. Uh oh. What do we got here? Enemy near. Um, hello, spiders. Oh, I failed the disarmament. That's fun. Did he? What a troll. Is clear. Oh, hello. Loot. Yeah, basically. That's that's the point of her existing, is to spam that. He's doomed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm fine. Go I've spotted something. I spy. What How about I disarm it and then no one walks over it? That's that sounds like a great plan, guys. I disarm it, no one walks over it. If they let me do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Something here. Our duty calls. Complete. The path is clear. <laughs> Can you multi a guy basically does anime action scene on someone and makes them disappear? I mean, that's a pretty accurate uh, description of what he does. Right, he attacks eight times in one round in in the in the span of six seconds, <laughs> and everyone dies. Done. I think that's it in this uh, map. So let's leave. All right. We have to decide what we're gonna do with a uh, stabby stab guy. Uh, double precise strike. I think I did. Uh, wait. I shall not fail. Did I take? I thought I took it. Oh, I didn't take it at all. Is it good? I, right now I have out, out flank. Uh, so we have strong boy, mixed stabby stab, and then low stab. I mean, should I take both of them? 
precise strike and outflank or just one because when we respect the uh and i don't think so i don't think trip is working uh with this build so i can drop trip on the main character and go precise strike Uh, I did not mean to go this way. Okay, we just made a circle, that's fine. I mean, if there was a way to set it where it would proc trip on my bite attacks or my claw attacks, that'd be great, but I don't think it does. So we can respec our main character and get rid of trip. Navigation with... Okay. <laughs> On the commas? What do you mean? Which for divinity scheme on? Description, comma. Uh, okay. So those trip just naturally. Oh, it's pretty good, I guess. It's getting better and better. But what's the point then? Can I not trip with weapons that don't have trip on them? Just handing me money? Nice. What? Can you some more? Uh, so, let's see. So, trip. I feel tired. I mean, it works. Hey, Tylo, when do you plan on doing the next vaccine gamer experience? I have 20k points and itching to be used to make a con rock. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. So this works. Let's head out. So off meta this works. Is it just because it's unarmed right now? The road awaits. I'll go ahead.
Because I think they work without commas, but even then, I'm sacrificing attacks. There's not a way to automatically make them trip, so I can't, it's not worth using. That's fine. We'll respect him and get rid of trip then. All right. Any day, okay. Well, we might do just that. <laughs> Rice cooker icon scene? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, we don't need to be carrying this armor around. It's not even that good. Sell this. Sell that trash. Five and four, five and five. Sell that. Protector of unjust. Four enhancement two. <laughs> kind of racist. Ooh, that's actually <laughs> cannot be equipped by lawful or good characters. Well, I don't think we're going to be using shield in this party. That's pretty cool, I guess. Tomorrow I'll work on the emote proposition I told you. I mean, we're ca we're capped out on emotes right now, just FYI. Keep that in mind. Seven and three, seven and three. Wait, no, stop. Yeah, whenever we uh, hit the next uh, check mark for that. Okay, we only need three more of these. We can sell one. I'm gonna throw face heal. <laughs> face reveal. I see how it is. I cooked some rice last night. Didn't burn it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are hilarious. Dude, wait. Uh, in descending order. A hundred pounds of camping supplies? Oh dear lord. I just sold the armor. I can buy it back if I need to. Money's no object, basically. That's a lot of damage! Right back. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Is that even? I don't even think the stack helps worth it. It's not going to be as good as like a attribute bonus. Let me sell that. Okay, where's that bag of holding? We're gonna buy that. <laughs> Manly portrait. <laughs>
This seems OP. I'll buy that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this just negated our entire carry weight. That's awesome. So we're carrying how much? 12 pounds of stuff. Because we have bag of holdings. So we have negative uh, 300 pounds from bag of holding. That's pretty good. Okay, so you have to go to Oleg's post to respect um, the halfling. Let us bide our time. Let's check the uh, the events real quick, and then we're gonna move on. Everyone counts on me. Why is that on? Alright. Until the sun rises again? <laughs> Probably not. I've already been streaming for quite a while, so... Probably should cut it. Not for terribly much longer. After this. Uh, probably it's my, another day off for me, so. Great. No advisors for that. To get some water and check my phone and you're still streaming. <laughs> I know, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> My goodness. Buckins Alchemical Shop. Tavern. He was quarantined, folks. Sane? Oh, I'm glad it's helpful, at least in that way. To my internship. Oh my god. That's crazy, man. Okay, so with the uh, vivisection of spells, communal spells still affect an AoE. Interesting. That's good to know, at least. How have they been getting XP? That's strange.
to take a day day's ride up here just to <laughs> freaking uh get some gear. I told her I had an online class. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Watch each other. I have probably honestly too many thunder calls. There's no way I'm gonna use 42 of these. Like maybe later game they'll take. I'll use more, but not that many more. Yeah, pay is important, but I've kind of like come to learn that like, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you couldn't care what the pay is. Well, no, I, mean, I don't mean that's not what I mean. I mean. What I'm saying is like, I feel like the uh, what you're doing and enjoying what you're doing is more important than how much you get paid for it. So if you know if you're learning things from it, or if you feel like you're making a difference at the job, then. Honestly, I feel like in my, at least personally, like the pay isn't, is less important than that case. Because you know, something can pay really well and you're not enjoying your time at work. It's like, then why are you doing it? The path is clear. <laughs> yeah, that's also very true. <laughs> Minimum wage is 200 USD. What? You mean two dollars, two USD, like two dollars, not 200? Because minimum wage there was 200. I couldn't imagine how your economy functioned. <clears throat> Two hundred a month. Oh, snap! So the comma are better. I was hoping there's a uh, monk weapon that's got a better crit range. Hmm. Under the Favi line? Dang. That's, uh, so, shall I say, sli slightly messed up? I think we're going com comma. The comma weapons. Where'd they at? Because if we look, they're not. 
uh, any worse than uh so 1d6 only t crit on 20 two feet they're exotic though Psy is Where's the Psy? Masterwork Psy. Oh, they're also exotic. Huh. Import tax and work here if you earn money. What? That's crazy. Our duty calls. Okay, so we have to test something. Uh, weapons, Sai, take this off. So, character, martial, okay, abilities, monk, proficiencies. We don't have to take any proficiencies with the monk weapons. That's perfect. So in that case, we won't go unarmed because if we go unarmed, we lose an attack. Gonna respect him. Give our thousand, uh, ourselves a thousand dollars for the respect. It's just uh, so. So if I have two weapons in my hand, like in my hands, I get the flurry of blows in the man main hand, and I get the offhand attack, right? But if I'm, if I'm unarmed, I only get the main attack and the flurry blows attack. So I think I'm going to have to go with weapons and not unarmed. Just to maintain more attacks. Even, yeah, it, it says on the card I do a l attack less. I mean, if it didn't, that'd be great, because that way I don't have to go as many class as many points into uh, thug. I mean, I probably should still go four for debilitating injury anyway. Really? I think I'm going to play it safe and just use weapons. I'm going to use the comma because they have a 1d6. So I'm going to be foregoing crits because I'm not going to get be good crit weapons, but that's fine because I don't need a crit to do to kill anything really. Um. Okay, so how do we want to play this build then? So if we're going to do weapons, we're going to go four into thug. Or let's see, is rogue even good? Regular rogue isn't good. Persuasion. Probably going to dazzling automatic dazzling display with like I don't remember the exact uh, feats that do it, but to use frightening. Yeah, rogue is for the sneak attack. Yep. So thug. And then we can do some frightening as well, and debilitating in injury. 
then we're gonna go one point into monk. Scaled fist for charisma instead. Our main character is gonna be intimidating in it anyway, so is it point point is it is even a point for this guy to be intimidating as well? So could I just I could just do monk and vivisectionist probably. But I need the finesse, right? So whatever level one rogue gives me the best stuff. Oh yeah, to basically ensure cover each other's gaps. But I'm still gonna need level three, right? Because I need finesse training. So I'm not gonna be using that amulet. I just wish there was confirmation whether or not I lose an attack with uh, with weapons, without weapons. Because if I don't lose an attack with weapons, then I can just skip Rogue entirely after level 1. Just go one thug. My phone is so even one on earth. What do you mean, who dis? <laughs> No, we're respecting uh, the the we've respect the paladin already twice. This is a second respect. Um. So paladin just doesn't do enough for us. So first respect, we respect, respect them to like a dodge uh, tank with a sectionist with like uh, with daggers, like uh, with dual wielding daggers. Now we're respecting them again. We're considering unarmed, but we're not quite sure yet. Yeah, you're right. Um, so we can just completely forego thug. He's my secondary perception anyway. So you just ignore the frightening. Wait one second. Oh, pfft. just go thug anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah, we did make Losa. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's fine. We're just we're just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to build this guy. I think this is good. She's the she's the bard. <laughs> it's pretty fitting, honestly. I was gonna have a bard anyway, so she fits well. So we were thinking we could make this guy beast. I mean, does it matter though? Because he's going to get wisdom for his uh, monk armor. We go a different subclass other than a skilled fist, like a traditional monk. I mean, what benefit does Halfling have over Dwarf? I mean, yes, they get less dex, but like we can just move our points around. I think it's a good meme. So if you want to make me that the the beast <laughs> portraits, continue the dwarf uh, rogue meme. I mean the beast rogue meme. Wait, did we just bug his stats? Look. Okay, it just bugged still. So. So we can't start with as high decks. Here he comes. Oh my goodness. This works. And then we'll start pumping decks with the, with our points. I mean the wisdom wisdom doesn't do much other than the armor. But it's still armor. Like, 13 intelligence should be enough for our spells. He posted them. <laughs> but we need int for a vivis vivisectionist, right? That's why he has int. But don't you get five points over the course of the game? So this would end up being uh, 22. Because if I do this, I can still get my spells with intelligence. Don't plan on using it. Hmm. We can do that then. And then we can put that extra point in the intelligence. How's that? This will work perfectly. Look at this. We got two uh, Pathfinder experts in chat. Fantastic. I got Mephiloso and off-meta gamer. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. 
All right, Dex, Con, Intelligence, Wisdom. It's kind of been kind of funny. Like every single time I've, every like hour that I've been streaming this, like yesterday and today, there's always been one person that's pretty knowledgeable of this game in chat, which has been honestly fantastically helpful, and I greatly do appreciate it. <laughs> Don't need persuasion. I don't need trickery either. Do persuasion. Loving and wow. <laughs> Lo and behold. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. So, knowledge world. Yeah. So perception for guarding as well. Oh, he still has an ability point. Dang it. It's uneven. I have two DMs in the chat. I don't know. Because, like... So, I know I know Dex is priority. But, that, so, this first off, this uses all my points. And I still get... I get another... So, that one... Taking that one point out of Dex gives me plus one to my Wisdom modifier, which is still one AC. I think, I think I'm going to still go with this. Because the reason I'm having problems dump, ju uh, dumping the uh, pumping the decks is because of our it's not getting a bonus. That's the one downside of the, of the dwarf. Alright, give me two seconds. I'm going to go over to the Discord and download the dwarf. The, uh, the V. <laughs> Did someone respond? <laughs> Did it use emotes and responded to the dwarf pictures with best girl? <laughs> I love how it took uh, you like five seconds to make these pictures. What the heck, bro? <laughs> New folder. Bro, at this point, we're basically just playing uh, a full DOS 2 party. Because, um, like, literally, our uh, <laughs> our main character is a character we played in Divinity as well. Divinity Tube Kingmaker. Oh my gosh. Alright, one second. We're going to get the, the dwarf uploaded here. Let me get this fixed, and then we'll... Uh... <laughs> So much for uh, Chosen Undead, but he was a good meme while he lasted. You don't see those points in Necron Warfare? Well, unfortunately, there are no way to put points in Necron Warfare in this game. Otherwise, I definitely would. Pathfinder Second Edition is weird, champ. Is it simpler? Is it more refined, or is it just bad? <laughs> All right, what does he look like here? I right, think he needs to have the most swole beard of all time. Here we go. HP is tied to races. What the fudge? What's his colors of armor? Gold and like silver? The 
the jar? What? All the images in your memes channel and Discord the jar. Uh, I don't think there. Should be extra fat. Nah. So he's there's no point in being a thug. So we can just make him a, not, a regular rogue just so he at least has some kind of use. So we're gonna forego knife master because we're probably still gonna use Psy. Like we could use this with the, the size, because uh, they're monk weapons and still get the floor of your blows. However, we would lose the 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 sneak attack on the uh, bite attacks and stuff. So we're gonna use regular rogue. And this is fine. Carve my name onto your flesh. My wounds. All this waiting bores me. Yeah, oh yeah, but we get weapon finesse from the, uh, the rogue. Yeah, rogues get that. I am superior! to get do you think debilitating injury is worth a level level four in rogue we get uncanny dodge too Breaking more games? Yes, we are epic. It has little impact overall. Yeah, so we're going to not take level 4. We'll just get level 3 for finesse training. Just play kinetics. Okay, so we're going to take Double Slice, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe Double Slice is converted to Finesse when I have Finesse Training, right? So it's, the benefit is add your Strength Bonus to your damage rolls made with your offhand weapon. So this converts to Finesse. When I get Finesse Training. That's my understanding. <clears throat> you don't know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does. We're about to find out. Okay, three in rogue. Okay, so Kama has a higher dice, has D6 instead of D4. So I have D4. So we should go Kama. So the same stats except D6. I don't know if there's any good uniques. We'll find out later. Okay, so combat expertise. Yeah, so we'll go combat then, in that case.
I don't know. We should. I don't know what I want to make my range class to be. Yeah, but they won't get the damage bonus, right, Mephilissa? Yeah, what class would I even make a longbow user? I just don't feel like. I, I mean, you'd, I'd have to see a build that seems functional. Like, I just can't get around the fact that like the damage rolls are affected by strength and the attack rolls are affected by dex. So like you're dumping, you're you're having to focus on two stats and like. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, yeah, Kirkies fall under. Um, yeah, they do. They're knife. Mm -hmm. The reason we don't want to go uh, knife master is because we're gonna go vivisectionist with the bites. So if we don't go knife master, we can get the sting attacks on the bite attacks as well. So we're sacrificing knife master to do that. It's just a bonus. I mean, am I really having a tiny party issue? Because, like, as long as my two characters are attacking the same person, we're okay. But, I mean, I guess getting, like, a ranger or something could be useful. Alright, so, Rogue 3, Monk 1, Vivisectionist. Yeah, she can't use the bow, but... Yeah, she's providing flanking, right? Whenever she stuns them. Basically. I don't think I can grab outflank yet, because I have to have a higher bab. So I think I grab Piranha Strike here. Oh, precise strike actually is what you wanted me to take, right? It does enable sync attack, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to respect the MC, drop trip, and uh, grab precise strike. Yeah, well, we're going to about to respect the main character and give him precise strike as well. And I think we're going to pick, skip Piranha Strike, right? Because this is more damage and we don't have to worry about dropping our accuracy. Yeah, so we can like pick it up later if there just isn't anything useful. Okay, so Feral Mutagen. So, because we did not go Knife Master, now our sneak attack can apply to these attacks. So even if we decide not to use that amulet that gives them dex to damage, It'll still be, they'll still be useful attacks because they're, I mean, attacks are attacks basically. So like it's free damage. Actually, we have to use the amulet. Otherwise the accuracy. Uh, our main character is level eight going on nine and this guy's level seven, I think. 
Yeah, we're doing pretty good as far as level is concerned. Oh, he's a little eight, actually. Wait, WTF? Improved two weapon fighting? It's another attack. Yeah, I guess we'll take that then. <laughs> Yeah, we'll grab that then. Is not supposed to. I think the key word there is supposed to. We're about to find out, guys. <laughs> Uh, maybe grab invisibility on him if we're sneaking around. I do, but I'm not using them. Bro, I streamed for like eight hours yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I think invisibility. I mean, are there situations where sneaking around is useful? So, if sneaking around is useful, this would be worth taking on him because he's going to be my sneaky guy. Because I can still give him blur with my bard. Oh, is it? Okay, so I won't take it. Fine. Yeah, let's just do a one then. Also, where'd he go? Did he die? Um, he's not in my party anymore. Okay, don't do that. What are you doing? Oh, did he get removed and put in the party thing? Okay. I hope so, because he was in my party. Okay, comma. The thing is, he only has one mass work comma, so we just have to deal with having a trashy one for a little bit. Regular old comma. Does he have a regular comma? Are they just like rare early? It's unfortunate. Wait, what do you mean? Cold iron? Okay, let's head back to town and hope he didn't just get deleted from my game. In the first world are weak to cold iron. Interesting. Well, 
We do still need to respec our main character as well. We'll get rid of trip and add uh, precise strike. This town is closer. You mentioned fast traveling between, so we'll try that out. Okay, we should we should have him still. I hope he didn't just get deleted from the game because of respec. Because that would kind of be unfortunate. Uh, why can I not access the party menu from here? This is one of my towns, right? He was confused. It's got nothing. Yeah, but I, whatever you like, open something, you should be able to see all the characters down here. Okay, maybe I have to go to the main town. Okay, well this is just like a side town. Maybe it's just because it's like an outpost right now. It's a village. This is a village too, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Mephilissa, we are, um, literally, we just got the, uh, the kingdom, and we haven't even finished the troll section yet. Yeah, it's just considered a place, that's true. Mm -hmm. But I actually had him in my party when I went to Oleg's place, so I should have him in my, um, in my party. Yeah, I don't know how far you've gotten, but yeah, we're pretty early on still. I think we've gotten quite high, high level for how far we are currently, but still, it's pretty early. Yeah, I might add one. At this point, we'll probably go ahead and start working on getting all six characters. All right, if you guys are going to be such advocates for the, the bow guy. Very well. There he is. Hey. Beastie boy. Okay, I'm glad it removed his gear. Otherwise, I'd be very upset. A dwarf with 21 decks. <laughs> you can just wear this just cause for spells. A dancing queen. Well, that's why we're wearing it, is for the bite attacks. I mean, when he rolls his bite, will it use dex or strength? For the attack roll. Because this is going to affect his damage roll. I'm sure hoping to God that it's giving his dex roll. Okay, it should be dex. That's good then. So this really won't matter. No, so it'll be strength. So that feral mutagen was useless. How do you get finesse bite?
How do I get that feat? Where? <laughs> What's the like prerequisites to that? So this is it says damage rolls, not for attack rolls. What is V and Lux doing here? <laughs> hey, shut up, quiz. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I'm liking his build. Don't get me wrong. Shoot. Because I need finesse bite for that to be worth it. I mean, are are natural attacks considered light weapons? I mean, at this rate, we're playing Asriel, who was, if you remember, the Lizard Wizard, right? And then we have Losa and Beast. <laughs> so we're on track. Well, the amulet says damage rolls, not uh, attack rolls. Okay, so it doesn't apply to those. Unfortunate. Yeah. So he may need to respec later as well. <laughs> now that we just spec them. Okay, let's like we need to fix Azriel here. Uh, no, just whenever you go into town, you only have your main character control. Uh, I downloaded it. I just looked up tiefling uh, pictures. The path is clear. Found them on like a, I think like a, like a form or something. Everyone. It's a good portrait for him. Oh, did I mention this uh, sub race for uh, motherless gets blur as well? <laughs> Yeah, because it lasts 20 minutes for him at max level. So instead of a trip, we're going to take precise strike here.
So that's why we respect him. I, I'm actually not sure exactly. I don't know if it's resting or what. One or two part times per day. I only get one use of it, I think. That's yeah, definitely good. Oh, dragon style. Oh, unarmed. Never mind. Um, what was taking Fury's fall? Wait, does Fury's fall not do anything in this build now because we didn't do trip? Oh, so I don't need Fury's fall. Yeah, but not for you. I just was like. It looks cool, okay? I was reading it. <laughs> Alright. Fury's fall is like a trip of things, so we're not doing trip anymore. That was what's on the build, but we're not going to do it anymore. So we'll take a power attack here. And then... When under the effects of feral, a feral mutagen, the alchemist gains bat-like wings, which give him a three plus plus three dodge bonus to AC against melee attacks. What the? F and immunity to difficulty of difficult terrain. What the? F <laughs> okay, this was later in the build, but we're not taking what it was going to have us take, so we can take this. It's okay. That seems really good. Seems incredibly good. So is uh, Power Talk not good here, or do you, you think uh, Accomplished Sneak Attacker is better? Yeah, Accomplished Sneak Attacker is probably better. I mean, ignoring surfaces is nice. Yeah, so it's either Feral Wings, or I can take uh, an, I can take Power Attack as well. Yeah, you know what? We can plan to use Grease. And hey, that's actually a good point because our um, our monk. So I know the bites aren't going to be useful, but the bites will let us get feral wings as well on the other guy. So we can get feral wings on both our characters. So we can use grease, and then both our main characters can ignore it. I like that. I like that plan. Wombo combo, boys. <laughs> Grease this joint. <laughs> oh, really? That's unfortunate. 
Every time we respec, we get new items. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, yeah, and if enemies use something bad on us like that, it's still... Um, I think it deleted his gear. Where's his quarterstaff? Oh, it's right here. Immune to pits? Would that be that'd be pretty busted, wouldn't it? If I was immune to that. Oh boy. Why is it, why is it funny? I mean, what else, is there any, even anything else I could use to get Flurry of Blows that would have this great effect? Because everything else has weapon finesse, finesse wielding. It's so like, this is like the strength weapon, right? So I like guess the only one I can use. Oh, so would it still be viable for him to go to dual wielding? And he get even more attacks? What the fuck? <laughs> so this, so if I can do this. I mean, he doesn't have dual wielding talent right now, but like. WTF, bro. <laughs> I think the benefit's the range, though, right? So, two foot versus, uh... Oh, it's the same range? It's just when I'm bigger? What? So, there's no reason to not do this, basically, is what you're saying. Honestly, the um, time for the respect, yes. So, honestly, the uh, 
The dwarf is pointless. There's no reason to be building the dwarf like we're building him. Our duty calls. The dwarf is just a worse version of this build. Right? Because what benefit is he getting over this guy? Because this guy is getting... I mean, he's tankier, right? Well, he's barely tankier. Huh. Yeah, he's pointless. Because, like, his bites are worse. He's dueling the same as this guy's about to. Huh. Okay. Well, fine. Yeah, I know. It's just like, why would I bother making another build other than this one? <laughs> oh my gosh. So dumb. Oh, I'm sure there's better builds. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware that there are probably better builds than this. There's the problem. PMP in that second one round, the Tarask. Oh my gosh. So that's the problem. We need 15, uh, 15 decks. We have to drop 14, so 4 points in Wisdom for 2 points in Dex to do this. I have to have 15 Dex for 2 weapon fighting. And, uh, hmm. Nineteen. Okay, so much for that respect. I think we're going to stick with the staff then, right? So there is merit to the, uh, the dwarf then, in that case. I mean, yeah, it's like negative 10. But the thing is, like, to hit that that 15 dex is really difficult. Right. 
Right, I just don't know if I can hit that 15 dex. I do that. I mean, I'm barely dying anyway. So like this, and then uh, my first point can go into dex instead of strength, and then the last four can go into strength. But is, is there any benefit for having an odd number of con? Because I won't get the bonus to my modifier for my hit points. Yeah, but I'm going to put a point in dex instead to make it even. <laughs> uh, the suffering. The min-max. I hate the stat system, bro. Oh, yeah, I know it's retroactive, but I have to actually put a point in there to do that. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not, right? But, like... It does increase my AC, but... Eh, yeah, you're right. Fine. So pump con. Yeah, one con rest and shrink. My skills exceed yours. So much respecting, guys. I know. <laughs> Enemy near. The one point dip in Monk isn't busted at all. Don't worry about it. No respec, friend. I mean, this is mostly just for like learning and getting better at the game. I'm learning a lot by doing this, for sure. Two points. It's like once you know what you're doing, you don't need to respec. So, by default, I can only make one attack opportunity, right? So, the likelihood of this being useful is not very high, is my understanding. Unless, well, if I start intimidating people and they start running away, this will be useful. Right? I think that's, this is skippable for now. That's just it. I cannot play PMP without doing something like this. I mean, if you told me, hey, just don't multi-class, and I'd be like, oh, okay, good. You know, like, I, I don't have a problem with that. Like, if you're redeeming a game, and you told me, like, hey, don't multi-class, like, that's fine with me. I definitely still build to the maximum power. Um... <laughs> I 
double slice. It's so stupid, like why is it? <laughs> Pretend you're a fighter talent. <laughs> what the heck? It's so bad. I believe so, yeah. There should still be multi-classing. So, the the build uh, that I'm following for this was going to go into Fauturd with with range, basically. So you're basically just uh, intimidating everyone, making them run, them run away, and then getting a bunch of opportunity attacks. But I think I'm liking the uh, just multi-attack garbage we're going with right now. Right. We have so many other bonuses anyway, right? I promise this build isn't broken, guys. What? We just lost some of the things we were using, but I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> level one. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it then. I mean, Thug would be nice, right? If we're going to do um, d uh, Dazzling Display, Krogan Smash, and all that stuff. So we have four stink attack right now. Mandatory? Is it really that good? I was all put up by this game yesterday. <laughs> now that we spent the last two and a half hours respecting. <laughs> Alright, shut up. <laughs> it's not that bad, okay? <laughs> yeah, it lasts for a round longer. Y'all crack me up.
Oh, okay, so thug. Hmm, okay. D why don't I have a weapon trader here? Like, this guy's trash. I know Oleg sells stuff because he wants you to have, like, they want you to have all the weapons available. I think I sold some of the, uh... He has five attacks. It's a classic Minotaur experience. Mother of God. All right. You'll have to just use this for now. It's not like it's bad. The classic method I love that. Ever so slightly better. That's a lot of damage. One damage better because it's enhanced. Also, also spinning. Thank you for the follow. Barely better. Okay, do I have to go back to Oleg's? Really? I mean, barely corrected. You stand barely corrected. <laughs> So for this guy, he only has to use a monk weapon in his main hand to get Flurry of Blows. So he can use something else in his offhand. So hand axe plus one would well work. And this has finesse wielding anyway. <laughs> Alright, so for now, we can grab this. Just buy a dagger back. Freaking insane. That cost that much money. I shouldn't have sold it to him. Alright, so... Oh, it's because he didn't have a... We did, we did finesse training with Kama. So it doesn't even matter for now, so let's just do that. And then... Yeah, it doesn't matter for now. So we'll just do this. This, this is so jank, but it doesn't matter. And then this guy, he just needs a second comma. Right now his offhand's trash. This is not broken at all, guys. Don't worry about it, okay? I don't know if bludgeoning actually matters, but we'll just keep this for now. Okay, enough of that. Let's hit level 9, and then we'll probably add a 4th character. It's not broken, it's just a showcase of skill. If that's the case, that is disappointing. If this is considered a skill.
Alright, we rested, got our spells. Time to go BOP. Oh, wonderful. Oh, your grace, what was me? I don't think we have anything we have to do here. Alright, now we can actually go fight things. Can you believe that? I guess we didn't finish everything over here. Just keep respecking. I came for menus. <laughs> uh, I mean, at this rate, yeah. At this rate, I'm gonna need more uh, <laughs> DOS 2 portraits. What did I miss here? this formation I thought I did everything oh the basement I have to been down here okay Beast spotted a trap? Wow. Nice. All right. Can <laughs> summon the trap with your face? Basically. Welcome, Reinhard. <laughs> Now I'm slightly worried. The fudge is this. Ooh, it's super smooth in here. I like the FPS. Oh, it's spotted a trap. All right, let me just, you know, first try the trap, shall I? Okay, dungeon, oh my gosh. Okay, all right, fine. Oh, bow, freaking trash. All right, well, the game's telling me to use a bow, apparently. So I guess we'll have to do a bow class. Oh, it definitely looks like a... <laughs> Bad guy. 
because we just imported her portrait and made a bard. Wow, fire protection. Okay, username, nailed on the head. All right, I need an infant portrait as soon as possible. <laughs> on it. <laughs> Now I just need a little audio clip that makes him say glory is mine. <laughs> if in the archer. With his wolf, his Smilodon. Dimwit? His name is Dimwit? What the heck? Alright, I think that's everything here. <laughs> I human out early on, Fey, as you progress in Dragon's late game. Are you telling me I need to reset throughout the game? That sounds exceptional. And that sounds like something I would definitely do. I mean, is regular humanoid fine as well? Because you're probably fighting like regular humanoids, like humans. Alright, are we stuck on the load screen? I think the game is uh, frozen on the load screen. <laughs> imagine. Well, that's just it, Quiz. I don't have to imagine. Oh, that makes sense, gamer. That makes sense. Are we starting the game? It's just uh, done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you do it so quick. What the heck, bro? <laughs> you don't have to imagine if you play oh my goodness all right this is uh stupid why is it crashing like this can you make your end test there we go hey this isn't a respec menu and then gave up <laughs> all right <laughs> Very funny. People just keep reacting with best girl to <laughs> every single one of them. What the heck? Come on. Literally beast. Still the best girl. What the heck? I've got the beast in my sights. Uh, did we... Oh yeah, this is after we did everything. Okay. Perfect. Watch this load screen is permanently bugged and we just can't even do that quest.
I'll go ahead. My understanding is the dwarf counts a small size, right? I thought he counts as small, just like a halfling. I thought not. Maybe not. Unfortunate. Medium. Ah, oh, that sucks. The path is clear. So halfling is still better. Oh well. That's fine. He's there for the meme. They are wide. Tread lightly. Would it be nice if like bards? I mean, uh, uh dwarves are good. Okay, um, the troll clearing, that's where I need to head towards. Um, okay, so quest timing, right? Boy, mega XP. Gonna first try that. When the <laughs> Oh my god. Um, yeah, we bought all the acid bombs. <laughs> when I say all, I mean all of them, were they? Have no fear, Losa is here. Oh, he... Oh, no. This is bad. Never mind, we're attacking a million times per second. Look at their attacks! What the fuck? <laughs> this is a joke. Dude, what? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. So it'll be interesting having uh, the dex focus build versus the uh, strength focus build. And comparing how they scale, my guess is the strength build is going to be better. As always, the magic. Dude, holy crap. And that was without any actual buffs. We had haste, but like... What the fudge, dude? Let us be careful. My god.
Yeah, for a while. That's why. That's 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 probably uh. But you, like you were saying, like defenses isn't as big big a deal, right? Because like this guy's it's not like he can't dodge. If he's got buffs and anything, he'll be fine, and he, he can have a decent amount of health anyways. So yeah, in reality, I should just have two strength ones. I mean, Ifin's gonna be uh, probably next level. Yeah, so I guess my assumption about this game was... So, off -meta gamer, have you played Unfair difficulty? Like, how does... How does that work on Unfair? Because I I know I know if you get crit on Unfair, you just lose the game. Like, literally just lose. But, um... I mean, I know it's probably stupid. Of all difficulties in any game, it's stupid. <laughs> you just say it's stupid. Okay. I may just up to hard or something. You don't play that draft. All right. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. The wolves of the tutorial. Oh yeah, that's stupid. Cause like hard compensates. So let's look at the difficulty uh, real quick. So options. Classic D&D? Really? Oh, well, that's basically what I have on, right? I think my, my settings are mostly the same, other than, like, XP and stuff, as challenging. The thing, like, when you can't respec in vanilla without these mods, like, you can't learn well. It's been very helpful. Can I not solve this riddle at all? Oh. Failed the wisdom check. Wow. I, I know the button to fix that. it okay the path is clear
What's up, Marcus? Turning this game to DOS 2, as you can see. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to have Ikin with us, I'm guessing. Stupid. For that uh, kobold place, like it says, nothing more interesting here, but it says follow his lead when you, uh, with an exclamation point on it. Like, what is this? Check out can do I, I have to have Ekin in our party? How are you supposed to play solo in this game if you have to have party members like that? I mean, don't you have to clear the trolls? Enemy near. Oh, nice. Oh, dear mother of God. Probably was a bad idea resting in the uh, <laughs> resting in the monster den. That's on me. Oh my god! Is it because I'm too close to the monster den? Screw that. Oh, what the... I wonder if I can even do the monsters then right now. I'll go ahead. Alright. 
see how we do with full buffs. Let us fight. Observe the others. Learn from their mistakes before they are oh yours. I shall not fail. We should prepare. The road awaits. On battle awaits. We should move. The yard. Prepare. All this waiting for the others. Their mistakes. Our duty calls. Let us bide our time. I shall not fail. I'm losing my temper. I shall not fail. The road away. No one stands in my way. Let's move Everyone already. Everyone counts on me. We should prepare. We're using, assuming poison for basilisks, right? Battle awaits. I already prepared it, might as well cast it. All this waiting Our duty for calls. me. Let us bide our time. I'm losing my temper. I shall not fail. Okay, he looks badass, let's be honest. <laughs> the path is clear. Oh, cast this on herself. Oh, hello. Is that supposed to be hard? Tread lightly. Let us be careful. Was it it? What? Out of my way. A solid plan. Okay, well that's it. <sighs> well, I was assuming there'd be like monsters. I mean, the archer didn't do anything. She's just holding a bow because she's like a bard. I think we're done here. That was uh, disappointing for how much we pre off there. Hold the instrument? I wish. Alright, well that was it. Okay. We're probably gonna get once he levels up. That way, when we recruit him, he's level nine. <laughs> or at least it should. All right. <laughs> we'll see about that. Depends if we can pre-buff or not. Uh, I think. 
or if there's any like special things that I have to consider when fighting them. Good luck. All right. Let's see if I'm done, though, here. Everyone is immortal in this world. We should especially name. when I am. Everyone counts on me. Let's move. Our duty calls. Our duty calls. Let us bide our time. Uh, well, the buffs last a while. I don't have to worry about it being one fight. It should last for multiple fights, honestly. Battles await. The road awaits. The road awaits. All this waiting bores me. Let us bide our time. What's up, Goblin? No one stands in my way. I'm gonna assume poison. I'm looking like the snatch. What? Everyone counts on me. We should prepare. Our duty calls. I shall not fail. Battles await. Our duty calls. All right, let's save post pre-buffing. Okay, don't forget we have haste as well. The path is clear. Enemy near. We also have uh, one spell. Let's see here. So we have. Good hope. Uh, we can go ahead and cast that actually. So let's go ahead and. Uh, might as well. Uh, she does not. But I have like a ton of acid flasks. Like literally a million. Completed. Let's head out. Done. Done. Completed. Impossible. I'm taking damage. I shall not fail. What do you think? Yes. Is clear. I think I only succeeded on one, didn't I? It's already lost. Done. All right. Well. Oh, how many do you get? Mud leaf. Oh, we have five. Okay. I care about whatever XP or reward I might get out of it. Oh, I remember this. Ouch. Let me guess, immune to thunder call. Aim carefully. Hey, no Pepe laughing, okay? Yeah, they seem like they're. I remember. Okay, so I remember one section of this, and this is where I just gave up and stopped playing. 
Um, <laughs> I remember there's like a section over here with like some monsters, I think. Enemy near. Uh, no, I don't know what that is. Just shoot Aim it. carefully. Oh, hey, uh, off meta, are you here? <laughs> Look at this bite attack. It gets dex. It gets dex to the attack roll as well. Now my question is if I take the amulet off, will it still get dex bonus? So yeah, the bite attacks on beasts are working. With the dex. Well, I thought it was strength Let's for natural attacks, attack, right? Either for the attack, good. All this so Feral Mutagen is still good for him. Me. I'm using this for the damage. Oh wait, where's the thing? Plus. Yeah. So we put this on. Okay, so dex builds can use body attacks and stuff. That's that's good. You're looking at the enemy not biting him. Oh boy. She's not even, she's not even a, a, uh, <laughs> witch. She's just hanging out here, like, all chilling out. Like, no big deal. Okay, here we go. Game hard, guys. Oh, I think this is the hard fight that I was thinking of. Oh, I'm not in combat. Got it. Cut them to pieces. Attack. Oh, I have the snapping disabled. Yeah, and I can target the ground pretty easily. Yeah, it's working for me, I think. So the Hydra arrow on Pathfinder, you can't even do that. So stop shooting more, more this. I think if I examine this, I, yeah. Water air. Oh my gosh. Done. Let us be careful.
Okay, so the build I'm following is the off mode just bad. Literally says Sword Saint. Why would I go Sword Saint? I think it's for, okay, because on the build guide, it's it's for uh, going weapon focus Fauchard. That's probably why he goes Sword Saint here. This is probably not useful to me to go Sword Saint. Also, this build says Archaeologist 2. <laughs> I'm confused what Archaeologist 2 would be for. So I went... Uh, Magus. Yeah, I'm confused what the point of these uh, dips are, probably. We're just gonna see if there's Yeah, since we're not going Fauchard, I don't think there's a reason to go Sword Saint. So we can skip it, and then... I'm not sure what Archaeologist 2 is for. Let's just see if we did uh, Bard Archaeologist. I think it's for this. I think this dip into archaeologist is for just the luck, right? Because it lasts forever, basically, as long as I'm not stunned, which should be unlikely because it's free to maintain it. And I guess the level 2 uncanny dodge, because he dips into 2 for this build. So for now, we can just keep going uh, Vivi. No, we're leveling up the main character.
why can I not take Dazzling Display? Weapon Focus. So Weapon Focus... Um, so our other guy went Comma. So we can go Psy on him, right? Because that way we're not just all using the same weapon and fighting over over gear. That means the dwarf's going to get the better weapons, but that's fine. Yeah, but we're going to grab it because we need to grab Dazzling Display. Because we're going Dazzling Display into Shattered Defenses into... Um, I, I believe Dreadful Carnage also is beneficial to that as well. Okay, Beast. <laughs> Okay, so the build also takes tells me to take uh, haste and heroism, but the bard has those, so I don't really need them. Yeah, so we're not going to take them. Let's go bull strength. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's LP, but it's redundant in this case. Right? But it doesn't matter. And this is only going to last, uh, well, it'll last a long time. But Losa can cast it multiple times and it affects the whole party. So I don't need it on him, because this is single target to himself. Displacement, where's that? Hmm. Yeah, because this is on him. So he can only cast these on himself. So displacement, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. That's good. I'll go ahead. All right, so we have weapon, weapon focus, Psy. No, um, so the vivisectionist can't give it to other people unless he uses, uh, uh, like it's a certain um, uh, vivisectionist discovery, uh, unless he does a certain uh, archaeologist discovery, not archaeologist, alchemist discovery. He has to do like uh, infusion or something. Yeah. We don't have that. All right, so he's going to be size and he's going to be commas. I know the commas are better, but like it's only two damage and it's only on a roll. So really, it doesn't really matter which one we take. They have the same stats otherwise. And honestly, I think it'll be funny with the giant guy stabbing with, like, ninja weapons. <laughs> it's hilarious. Mother of God, look at this trash. Here, one second. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Can I take... Uh, So he can't go, um, yeah, that would be funny. So why can't he go, so I can't, I can't do this without 17 decks, so it doesn't matter. 
Which that's not that's not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> Are we back to respawn? <laughs> uh... That lightning is no fun, I'll be honest with you. Is this supposed to be hard? <laughs> oh, the ball fight? Those three guys? Hmm. The path is clear. Tread lightly. Something here. I've spotted something. Oh, there's nothing good in there. I mean, our our group is is uh is martial focused, isn't it? I mean, I guess, yeah, because we're using weapons that don't crit at all, really. But it was, just, it was just hitting so hard anyways. Let us be careful. Um... is clear. I shall not fail. Forwards. Enemy near. Power attack permanent. Level 16 plant. Immunities to everything and your mom. All right. Good grief. Turn on the cat. Oof. 
Oscar, okay, shit. I don't need that negativity, okay? Oh, fudge. Okay, let's do that again, and let's make him focus the dwarf instead of... Instead of the big guy. Because the big guy is not as tanky. Yeah, Thundercaller just takes a... Everyone takes a walk. No one stands in my way. We should prepare. Are they the same AC? What the fudge? Um... Where's, where's, uh, where's living on the edge when you need it? I think his buffs are wearing off, yeah. Um, he needs a cast. I'm losing my temper. The road awaits. I shall not fail. Oh, easy. Let us bide our time. I mean, he didn't get debuffs. He's fine, right? Let's move already. Yeah, he's fine. A solid plan. Enemy near. I'll go ahead. I have delay poison. Right? Doesn't that like? Looks like I can just kite this fight, right? So you're saying after this fight I die instantly? <laughs> what the fudge? Just do this because he's immune to aim carefully. My skills exceed yours. Our duty calls. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was a sigh, but it's not. That's a big sad. I was getting, I got excited, I, I got excited there, and then it wasn't. This build seems slightly busted. I think we have eight more. Oh my god. What the? That's reduced because I have the uh, acid resist. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, haste is five. And then we got uh, two more bites. Seven, and then, yeah, eight. I think that's right. No, four, five. No, we have nine attacks if we use haste. And correct. I would have killed your character. Okay, we're playing a video game and you know what stream you're watching, okay? <laughs> I 
Isn't he level 9 now? Yeah, yeah, he still has one attack per level, like you said. is clear. He can do what he wants. This is not how I do things, but that's okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, who am I returning the wedding ring to? Is it the... The witch lady? I already did, already killed them. Oh, it's because I used the. The path is clear. Yeah, the will took like, uh. Yep, it took like, uh. <laughs> 30 seconds? Maybe? I'll go ahead. That's <laughs> correct. To be fair, it's all three of them are doing some good work. Like even Losa is putting in work, and she's just a freaking bard. Let's head out. I mean, oh, hello. The path is clear. Let's um. Battles await. Attack. No, I mean, she does work. She does, uh, I mean, she got this, and then whenever something's resistant to the fortitude saves, she just encourages the team. Watch each other. You are outmatched. Ouch. This is why health is good. Okay, please no. Please no kill the beast. Get up. You ain't dead. Tread lightly. Is that it? Is there actually a hard fight here? Okay, walk faster for the love of God. Watch each other. It is time to rest soon. Our buffs are running out. Oh, I didn't mean to take it off into. Hodags, is that it? Can we like click on it, please? Yo, hello. We should move. We should prepare. I'll go ahead. Have already ascended.
Honestly, sneak attack is just busted as well. Like, on top of everything else that we're doing. It's just broken. Completed. I uh, shouldn't have done that. The path is clear. Absolute cheese. I hope not. Cause like flanking is just a joke. I don't think I had a good. Yeah. Everyone counts on me. All this waiting for I shall not fail. Well, yeah, I thought that was part of the quest. It was just like, oh, yeah, I guarded the coins for you or something. Why does Losa keep walking ahead of them? What the heck? Beast. The road awaits. Enemy near. Yeah, the giant snails, the slugs, I mean. Oh yeah, I was doing that already, yeah. A solid crack. Uh, 29? Reduced? Y'all are no fun. Alright, well you're dead. Big milkshakes? Mm, I wish I could have milkshakes. The path is clear. Okay, this next fight over here is I think the one that I rage quit on when I was playing this like last year. Something here. Yes, this fight. Okay, can I rest here without being ambushed? Like a freaking plebs. Probably not, but. We should prepare. Esme, Axe, yes. Not no one stands in my way. way. Let's Our duty calls. Let us bide on all this I shall not fail. We should prepare. Slythe. Uh, I've played this before, but I have not beat it before or anything. This is actually probably the farthest I've gotten in this game so far. So the plan is to beat it. But yeah, I've played it before, but not like uh, I'm not like super experienced or anything. That's for sure. Definitely not experienced. Okay, I think they both have a natural armor bonus. Oh, she doesn't anymore, so I can do natural armor on him. I shall not fail. Everyone counts on me. We should prepare. 
I'm sorry yet. Yeah, it's definitely hard to get into. I'll tell you that much. So it's going to take effort, like learning all the things. Let's move Our already. duty calls. I shall not fail. Yeah, the real set is definitely complicated, that's for sure. And it's also very broken. Alright, Basilisks. Oh, they're not Basilisks. I thought they were Basilisks. Be careful, everyone. Are they going invisible? I mean, it's glad I have C invisibility. It's, uh, it's broken like DOS too. <laughs> That's what I mean. That armor plus two. <laughs> Our main character <laughs> is an absolute meme. So he's a dual wielding melee character. He has one point in monk for the uh, for flurry of blows and the dodge bonus from wisdom. And then yeah, two dual wielding is better than two hander. Okay, well yes, yeah, very funny. But yes, it is. I mean, it's a bit better for here, yeah. Um, so the gimmick is he attacks like up to nine times per turn, per round. So Flurry of Blows makes him have two attacks instead of one with his full attack if he's using a monk weapon unarmed, a monk weapon or unarmed, so he has an extra attack that way. So that's two attacks. Then he's high enough level, now he gets a third attack, so that's three. Then he's using dual wielding, so his offhand gets another one, so four attacks and then he has the uh he's a he's a uh tiefling and the sub brace of tiefling he's using uh gives him a fifth bite attack then uh, we're playing uh vivisectionist which gives us this mutagen um like uh, ability here which gives us another bite attack so that's six attacks and then two claw attacks that's eight attacks so he gets eight attacks then if we cast haste on our team we get a ninth attack so we attack nine times per turn with him. He's got big swole strength. Yeah, his mutagen is balanced. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I forgot to drink the mutagen. Not to mention that. We still killed him anyway. All right, it's fine. Didn't even matter. Didn't drink our mutagen, didn't matter. Yeah, so look how much strength he has now. 27 strength, and then he's got huge bonuses. Done. And then uh, Beast is a similar build, but he's um, described D&D 5, 3.5e monk with no cross class. I mean, that's fair. And then the, the dwarf is a similar build, but he's using um, finesse instead. And what we're kind of seeing is that makes him tankier than the big guy. But he, he'll, he's just overall less effective because he's had to dip into rogue to get finesse for his weapons instead of just using strength in the first place. Um, and kind of like we're experiencing like uh, in the off meta gamer mentioned is like having a bunch of health is more important than having AC because they're going to hit you anyway and you're going to die. <laughs> what in Neptune's name? Uh, that's fine. Can I even go over here?
face paint? Oh, face paint. Let us be careful. Okay, there is a way to get up there. The path is clear. Spotted something. A thousand gold. Ring of protection too. Don't mind if I do. I mean, Losa did die. For to be fair. Tread lightly. Over there. Um. Yeah, Goblin, you finally joined the Discord. <laughs> oh, nice. I acquire healing. Complete. <laughs> uh. I think uh this uh run is being is a demonstration of uh damage meta still existing and even in this game. Of course there are tank strats that are important, like being able to survive hits is incredibly important. But what we're experiencing is that if the enemy dies quickly, it doesn't matter what else happens, RTD right? Calls. So, like, these guys cleaving them quickly is uh, making things way. very easy for us. No one stands in my way. Yeah, because it's not turn based. Yeah. If it was turn based, we could uh avoid that. Uh I think that's already enabled by default. If you notice they all healed right before I got back up. That's why I rested twice. I rested the first time to get the spells back for healing from Losa and then automatically uh healed them. With the spells the second time. Everyone counts on so I should already be doing that. Also, why does he not have Expedition Retreat? Did I already cast that? Let uh, us our time. Why is it not prepared? I mean, yeah, taking is important. I'm not saying, like, it's, it's still relevant. But, like, the power of killing enemies quickly is still prevalent. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, it still has a huge effect. All this waiting bores me. I shall not fail. Oh, it's because of his mutagen. Dang it. So, I, so whenever he uses his mutagen, I have to re-prepare spells. Uh, because mutagen lowers his intelligence. I hate that interaction a lot. Let's move already. Observe. 
serve the others. The road awaits. Let us bide our It'll be fine, it's just whatever. We should move. Our duty calls. We should prepare. Alright, so I need to succeed this the first time. Done. Got him. A solid plan. Enemy near. Aim carefully. Oh, I was talking about getting a um I'll probably be getting a grenadier. Beast died. <laughs> Failed. I failed. Enemy near. A solid plan. Oh my god, critting for 64? What the fuck? Um, I don't know about this. It's the same map, it's just at the top right place, the north -like, northeast. I mean, they're just hitting so hard. Completed. The road awaits. I don't have any more buffs to apply. Battles await. Our duty calls. Enemy near. Out of my way. I don't think I can stun them. I am superior. Mother of God, what is this damage? Require healing quickly. Take a moment. Mother of <laughs> What the fudge? Bab 18? What the fudge, dude? Uh, yeah, I understand now. Learn from my Learn from my mistake. Dear Lord, can I not kill these guys then? I have to just like roll the RNG here. Basically. Impossible. Just don't get hit. I mean, I can kite them, but my, the people that would kite them are gonna be the. They're watching my vods. Stop. Impossible. I failed. I mean, my uh. My my bard is CC. Just fortitude. This kind of strange. I think the game is. So I need will save. Uh, do you know if I grenadiers have anything failed. that attacks will? I could make a. Uh, I can make if in the Grenadier. Failed. Oh my god. Impossible. Done. Against Dex? Okay. 
I'm sure these guys have not the greatest deck save either. Oh my god. Reflex save. The giant owl bears have decent. Done. Okay, save here. Battles away. We should prepare. The road away. We should move. I'll go ahead. Critical hit 61. All right. Enemy near. Yeah, they just both saved against confusion. Our duty calls. I'll go ahead. So it is slow good? I was told earlier it wasn't. He died already. This a little power game. We should prepare. There's Mad Meta Magic Heighten. Yeah. Yeah, Heightens in there. You just change your mind, huh? <laughs> Confusion and they attack me, okay. Oh no, don't attack Losa. A solid plan. I mean, is a, is a wizard really worth it? Should I just should I just reclass Lilith into a wizard? I don't think I can do this fight because I'm confusing them and they just don't care. Freaking dragons, really? Enemy near. A 
solid plan. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and then only two of them are gonna attack me. Still doesn't prevent beasts from just dying in two hits. Give him better hits. How is he missing me? Oh, concealment? I need to get displacement. I have displacement, I just need to learn it. Bro, I can use Thunder Call and this at the same time. It's Fire Courage and Thunder Call. Come on. Kill. Kill. It. First try. Did I actually hit him with Thunder Call? Oops. <laughs> Alright, guys, first try. I've spotted something. That's how we did around here. First try on everything. Clearly, the rewards were not worth it, but that's fine. I think that's everything. You're really glad that caused me trouble. Well, the thing is, check the weapon. Let us bide our time. What does Agile do? Ooh. You become more out well, thanks, music man. <laughs> okay, so but it's not worth using. No <laughs> problem. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh well. See you later, music man. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I mean, is Aldori Sword Lord good? They are okay. All right. Well, I think I did everything right. Or is the kid supposed to be here? Let us be careful. Watch each other. So, it looks like we can do Inspire Courage and Thunder Call at the same time. Based on how it's constantly ticking. And then I can uh, Thunder Call still. Well, it's not a spell. It's using, the, it's, it's con it counts as the performance, right? So we, so we thought that it was going to override it. But it doesn't, so we can use both at the same time. The path is clear. I just don't know if extended performance works automatically. Like, if I get an extended performance, does it automatically only use one tick every three rounds? 
That would effectively triple our the value of Inspire Courage. Oh, so we should get it. Oh, it isn't automatic. Are we talking at once? Oh, the Teresia. Okay. Whoops, that's what I missed. Almost never lasts three rounds. I mean, you're right. Honestly, we might wait for Ifin now that we already got a third of a level. Like, that's a lot of XP that we got. You think Ifin is fine if he's a Grenadier? I mean, he can still use a bow as a Grenadier. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. We can get him. Go back to town, we'll get Ifin. I don't know if I want to make him a dedicated ranger or a grenadier. Probably a grenadier. The path is clear. The road awaits. Oh yeah, this party has six people. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll uh so if wizard is just better than Bard in terms of buffing, we'll drop uh well not drop Losa, we'll respect Losa to Wizard. I shall not fail. And then uh, pick up Ifin as a grenadier. So keep Our Losa because she's still useful. She's got like Inspire Courage is still effective, and uh, Thunder Call is still good. So keep Losa and then uh, add a wizard. Yes, I'm not. Hey, Zeke, you know you're enjoying it, okay? <laughs> All the CC can stack? Oh, boy. Enemy AC will go through the roof. Oh boy. And then uh, if we if we crowd control them, they they get flat footed right, and their AC is way lower. Could be here all night. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seventy two. Conjuration, Transmutation, Riot, Wizard, Grab, Grease, and Web. Swamp Bouquet? What is that even? I don't even know. Whatever. Let's go back to town before I lose my mind. Yeah, and both our, both our melees are going to have the floating thing. I feel tired. So, um... So, okay, so two melees. Bard, Grenadier Wizard. You don't think it'll stop it? Let's see. So the effects of difficulty terrain difficult terrain don't include Reese and web and webs, you think? Ah, oh, that's a shame. But I mean freedom of movement is just a spell, so it should be easy, right? Okay. 
Probably not web. Okay. Hmm. So not a third melee. Just a ranger instead of a third melee. Alright, well, I need more portraits then from uh, Doss, too. If we're going to have a full six-man party soon. All that dialogue I didn't even bother reading. I love this game. So much dialogue. Good luck making it then. Uh, so Fane. Oh, it's not lizard people. I mean, Tiefling is close to like lizard-ish, I guess, but not really. So that's why Azriel from our lizard wizard is a Tiefling. So we have Azriel, Losa, Beast, and then we need three more, right? So we're gonna need Ifin as the. I mean, you guys just want me to play Ranger, so we'll play Ranger. <laughs> and then. Uh... We also got Fane, Sabeel, Fane, Sabeel, Ifen. Who's the other one that I'm missing? Am I dumb or something? Is that it? Are there only five companions? Oh, Lizard, Lizard, Wizard, Red Prince. Freaking forgot about him. Um. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go get, take a quick break, just go uh, get some food and drink. And I'll be right back.
All right. Sad that Gareth's parents' little eyes aren't worth more than the dagger. That's true. I feel tired. Wow. 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 You're a nerd. Sky lowering taxes over here? Unacceptable. Be careful. Our so we have to prepare costs. spells. Because we lose spell slots when we use our mutagen. So he's okay right now. See, displacement would have saved us on the owlbear fight. Ah, uh, granola bars. <laughs> I already had dinner. I'm just hungry now because it's like midnight. So I need to get the Ifn portrait ready. You gotta do that. If anyone wants to make uh, <laughs> other portraits, we can do the rest of... Uh... It doesn't have to be the origin characters. It can be other DOS 2 characters. We might not do Fane. Uh, if you guys have other characters from DOS 2 that you think we should do that have good portraits, we can do Malady. See, okay. Shown folder. New. I fan. Do Jahan? <laughs> if there, is there even like art of him? Jahan the wizard. Hey, that actually works pretty well. There you go. Uh, if in, and then. You said, yes, Dost, you wait, what? <laughs> will cost you zero gold pieces. Perfect. Uh, I mean, is it time for a poll? <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're, we're already taking Ifin, and then so Malady, uh, 
Jahan. Oh, wait. No. Dang it. Anyone else have a DOS two characters to add to the Ross, like the question? Me. Red, Red Prince won't be an option. I mean, he might. We can do an option. He has to be a tiefling, though. And then, uh, Seville. Veridas. <laughs> Dallas. Veridas. I can't even remember who that is. I know the name. I cannot remember who that character is. Garrus? I mean, Garrus? Gareth would have to be a melee boy. No, Gareth would have to be a pyro pyro hydro wizard. And that's starting island. Oh. Mind wormed. Oh, that's right. Alright, well, I think it's a good amount of options. Well, I don't think I will do Veridas, because I don't think he has like art online or anything. I think Dallas and Gareth do. No, let's get rid of Gareth. I don't think Gareth does. So Dallas does have art. I know Sabiel. I'm sure we can find Jahan and Melody. So everyone can only vote once. Uh, but we'll take like, the top three, right? Because uh, we need three characters. Oh, top two, because uh, we're, Ifin's going to take one of them. Melody gets the first vote. All right, all right. Um, I think. Oh boy, this is a rowdy vote, guys. Rowdy vote. Um, let's see, so... <clears throat> no one's voting for Jahan, wow. Uh, I don't know about having a dedicated ranger. Hmm, might still be good. I just want to get the Grenadier next. <laughs> Thirsty audience. <laughs> My gosh. Range I mean I know range is good. I just don't <sighs> What's up, I better bet yo, how's it going? Who the hell voted in Dallas? <laughs> I mean she already is losing. Malady in Dallas? That's a weird pick. Alright. Okay, so if we're gonna play Ranger. Female Ranger? What the fudge? Meladella? <laughs> uh, okay, so Elf. Ranger is Int, right? Class, Ranger. Okay, what does Slayer get? Let's just look at. I need to, like, learn. Oh, so is 
Ekendayo the only person who gets the freaking uh, pet for free? It looks like Malady and Dallas won. Wow. Dude, remember that poll that got like 350 vote, 250 votes? So Ranger doesn't get any. That's unfortunate. So I have to have multi-class? Oh. How? Oh. Level four, right here, Hunter's Bond. So what's the exact reason I wouldn't want a multi-class um, for the favorite en enemy? If I'm on the class, it will fall behind. Oh. So if I... So I can just forego Animal Companion and that will give me more options for multiclassing. Yeah, but if he's supposed to be a ranger, like a, a like I mean a ranged character. Is this bugging out? Oh, that was a male. It just doesn't look like a male. Like a bow guy is what this guy's supposed to be. To that target, he's to a target. He studies that target, allowing him to apply his study target bonus against that target. This goes up to plus five. For the record, this archer, but it is quite good. <laughs> Not so <silver fruits. laughs> Oh my gosh. Um. So I can't have the grenade grenadier be a ranged character because. They need to be separate. The fudge is Dallas the Grenadier? And then Melody the Wizard? What the fudge is this? Okay, so Slayer. So what does Vanguard gain? So Vanguard looks like it's probably a melee focused.
I'm not going to be casting any spells. Gives up two, it looks like. He gives up two. Not just one. Pushes it back to level six. Level six for the first one. Um, and you get what? So teamwork so these I don't think this is useful. Teamwork feet. Because my my teamwork feats on my other guys are melee teamwork feats. Hmm, interesting. So... Fairy train isn't because like the bard already has lore nature. Really interesting. With a lot of notable exceptions. Like Alchemist. <laughs> like no one uses regular Alchemist. Like these are as well. I mean, Mad Dog is just better because you get a companion. But Barbarian isn't good in the first place. Yeah, what I was, the um, guys that I was following were, like, they seemed to, like, really prefer, like, high AC builds instead of, like, high HP builds. But, I mean, knowing that, like, some enemies are just going to hit you anyway, like, that's pretty, pretty nuts, though. But, I mean, this is actually not that good, right? Because this is only 10 damage reduction. So if you hit hard, you're screwed anyway. Oh, it has resistances as well. That's not bad. So 6 points of resistance to like everything. Oh, cold and fire. And they have higher hit points. Hmm, that's true, that makes sense. That combo works. Mul multiplicative <laughs> survivability. No, we're not going to play Bar Barbarian, probably. We already have two melees. And Inquisitors, like, is there any situation where Inquisitors even good? This 
it's a good solo. Because he summons. I've all seen uh, people with like ca uh, cleric um, herald caller. Well, we already know what classes we're going to play. Uh, one of them is going to be a wizard. And then the other one's probably going to be a grenadier. Five monster at a point. Without flank and precise strike. That seems busted. We don't want that. We don't want to do that, though, because they'll get in the way of the melees. What is this? Summoning's good in the video game? The fudge is this? Solo, solo run win. I mean, it just has elf and, uh, I guess we don't need it intelligence for this, right? So dex and stir, is there even something that gives dex and stir? Is there an Azamar heritage that gives dex and stir? Well, they can't do both. Yeah, but it only gives you one, right? I guess, yeah, that still makes it better, right? I mean, if in any way, right? Is that fancy beard? I can't see his hairstyle because this ha okay, this is stupid. White, brown, and gray. Oh, it is in the menu? Heck yeah.
<laughs> the ultra min max. Eh, he'll be fine. He'll be in the back. Everything will die before it casts anything. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's only his base save, right? Look at bonuses later. I mean, you're right, fam. All right, fine. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, we'll just, yeah, that's fine. We'll deal with it. All right. It's fine. I hate that you have to take talents just to shoot a bow. It's so dumb. I have no use for the defeat is not an option. Let us be off. Let us bide our none. Calm down. I'll go ahead. Someone else would make I'm oh let us press on. Our time has come. So many thoughts. So little time. So Pikey. The problem is it's twelve thirty in the morning and I'm not tired. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. I mean, there's no point to not, I guess. That's why I'm doing it. Still have too many skill points. Oh, I mean, there's such a thing as respect? <laughs> Okay, I have no idea how to build these. Um, you can fire one additional time. It's melee attack. Power attack doesn't work. Yeah, rapid shot seems just good to just attack more. More attacks equals better. When I just take, isn't this Hombo Stink Attacker just better? It'll be a Stink Attacking with everyone. Because I don't have to worry about negative rolls quite yet, and then. Wait, I'm confused. Combat style, but I already picked those. That's saying that when I hit level 6, then I can start picking things differently? Wait for level 6 to pick this? Oh, okay. I see. I see how that works then. So 
So do I go ahead and go weapon focus or combat trick? Do I go, I guess, uh, deadly aim. Longbow just the best. <laughs> the only choice. It's always fun. Alright, more sneak attack at this level. Alright, so this is level 6. Archery. We're level 6. What? This is level 6. That's weird. Oh wait, let's see what happens at level 8 then. Oh, I can just pff, do that, that works too. It literally doesn't matter, I can just take it here. You just read what it does. When you, make two, when you can full attack with a bow. That's good, but is that is that is that is the damage reduction prevalent enough that's useful? Otherwise, is there a more useful, uh, just generally useful thing I can take right now? Where the gap is. We already, we already have precise strike. I can't, but I can't flank enemies as a range character, right? Or can I still flank people? Yes, yeah, melee attack. That's what I thought. Uh, Owl flank works. But I have to be I have to be one of the characters flanking the enemy. Okay. But out flank does work. Cause I can still flank from range. I mean, that sounds weird, but that's just how it works, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is broken. Improved critical. Ha <laughs> ha, foggers. So is that the best thing right now? Probably. Is but for now is hammer though got better. For now. Because this gives me consistently more damage. This gives me irregularly more damage. Really? Okay. Oh no, but but um, yeah, I wasn't the cluster shots is that one that groups them all together. Hammer the gap is the one that um, increases the damage on consecutive hits. So I was thinking that would be better for now, and then improving my crit later. Oh really? Okay. Never take it. Okay. <laughs> Do I really need to worry about confirming criticals? Precise strike says melee. With each successful melee. So I don't think I can. So what's even good right now? I mean, should I just go ahead and take clustered shots? For the DR, since there's nothing else really to take. Clustered or just more... Oh, it does not stack, okay. I mean... I know you said hammer the gap's not good, but like this is at least a non-situational increase in damage, right? Because that's still like, if I'm attacking, I get additional um, sub loop. Because there's still like an additional damage for each extra attack I do. Yeah, because this is, uh, yeah, I know it's not great, but like, so cl I'm just thinking. But how many enemies have DR? A lot of enemies? Okay, I'll take cluster shots then. I shall not fail.
What? <laughs> Which is better? Um, I really should call it soon, I'll be honest with you. I know I don't work tomorrow, but like, if I keep streaming like this, I'll never be able to sleep. I think this one's better. for our stream I mean if I ever like do like a charity stream or something for sure critical focus Savage? Oh, okay. Didn't I take improved critical? I can't remember if I did. It just doesn't show it. Oh, it says 1920 right here. This is too lucky. I don't know why I'm so skeptical of ranged, like, just bow users in this game. I mean, we'll see. I just don't know why I... I just feel like they're trash for some reason. Oh, uh, no, we're not using it, unfortunately. I think the reason I was skeptical was um, just the way uh, like melee versus ranged worked in pillars, because it's the most similar game to this I've played. Um, because it was so easy and functional to create a front line. Oh, dragon! What the fudge? Uh, but like. So it was easy to like have your back line in pillars. In this game, I just feel like it's harder to set up a front line. So you just get picked off in the back, and then the way opportunity attacks work, it's just just go cry in the corner. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Is it good enough for that? What's up, kiddo? 
Kedek, how's it going? I love this hot bar. Must be so fun. We should prepare. Honor, Adayan. Battles await. The path is clear. Bandit Everyone bard? Counts on me. Well, say hello to my, my, my bard, shall you? Oh, there you go. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. A hold person. Okay, fantastic. If and been dead. I had to get flanked, I know. I just feel like there's a lot of situations like that in this game. <laughs> All this waiting. Oh, look, if it failed the will save. I shall not fail. Oh, boy. Yeah, I do. What's is that bad? Let's head out. Let's it's a swift it. action. Wait, what if I use the swift action one? Cause swift is basically free, right? But using a movement action doesn't matter, right? Because he's got, it's it doesn't matter since he's. It just means he can't move that turn. The path is clear. Does it affect how many times he can attack or something? Oh, no full round. Interesting. I didn't notice the difference between the move and the, and the swift one, so I don't see why you would ever use the move one. Why did I... Is it from entering the location? Do I literally just need to wait? No one stands in my way. The others. Learn Let's from their mistakes already. before they learn from yours. It will not go away? Does it do anything? Everyone counts on me. 
this all I the shall fun. not fail. Oh, no. Let us bide our time. All of this will be not easy. easy. Our duty comes. The road awaits. So many thoughts. So little time. We should prepare. Time to oh, great. That was pointless, I guess. The road awaits. I'll go ahead. Let us be careful. Maybe the other reason I don't like the Rangers is because they're so basic. Just stand there and shoot. So Malady and Dallas did win the poll. Nice. Yeah, DOS 2 Ranger is basic, but at least it's cool with, like, ballistic shot. Do they scale well? Like, do they curve hard into late game? My melees won't perform well against casters like game. Tread lightly. I shall not fail. No one stands in my way. Shall we move? I'm losing my temper. I shall not fail. Let us bide our time. Our duty calls. Everyone counts on me. Let's move. Easy. Easy. Well, we should take prepare it. Well, yeah, archers. I'm just. I, I just have the habit habit of calling them rangers because um. You know, dust too. Who doesn't have the natural AC? I think it's him. Yeah. The road awaits. Yes, if you may call them rangers, that's what I'm I mean. Battles away. No one stands in my way. I shall not fail. All this waiting. See invisibility for the wolves. <laughs> Just so I can cast all my buffs. There we go. Is that enough buffs, guys? Let us bide our time. Let's shake a Observe leg. the others, learn from their mistakes before they learn from yours. Oh, wait, expeditious retreat. I'm How losing my temper. Enemy near. 
Oh, WTF, really? Yeah, we don't have that, unfortunately. Critical hit 81? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> fucking chill, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's his bow, that's why. It's the bow he's using. Not the class exactly yet. I mean, you only need to crit once, right? All right, all right, I can get behind this. So tell me, is there a reason I wouldn't? Yeah, it's not a huge difference, it's still a lot of damage. So tell me, is there a reason I would? I would go full Slayer instead of Dipping into Vivi like everyone else. Because this, this class would benefit from Vivi because you're getting tons of... You're getting, I think, more sneak, right? You get more sneak. No, I know not natural attacks, but he still benefits from the mutagen and the spells. And more, he gets more sneak attack that way. Because with Slayer, let's see, so Slayer. Yeah, full bab. This is a full attack by level 20. My attacks will do more damage. So let's see. So that's six sneak attack. Because the only thing that Slayer is really giving me is the full bab and study target, right? It's the only thing that Slayer's giving me that's useful and unique. Um, good for now, bad for in game. It's because I get the same. I can get the same number of the uh, the feats with with Vivi and more sneak. Because I I get four. I get forty six more sneak die. So you have to think, is, is, is extra attack better than 46 more sneak die? And I can compensate for the lack in attack bonus, the BAV, with just... So let me get this straight. Just multi-class any weapon user with Vivi, and you win the game. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugh. Uh, yes, this is technically closer to DOS, to Pillars and DOS 2. Technically. It's real time with pause. Larger party size, but the mechanics are still different. But like it's it has more similarities to D pillars mechanics than the than to DOS two mechanics, of course. I mean, I've seen Kineticist. I haven't played Kinetis Kineticist. It's just sneak attack, right? Just basic bro sneak attack.
Yeah, I really like Pillars 2. The combat only, though. The story is trash, and I think the setting's trash. The combat's fun. Yeah, you wouldn't even go Slayer at all, would you? I haven't played Tyranny, actually. Yeah, in what way? Yeah, there's the bonus from Slayer is not good enough to. What's the difference at end game for full bab versus uh, three fourths? Like, what is full bab at level twenty? Plus twenty. What? So I get 15 instead of plus 20. So I, I, I lose plus 5 to attack. So I lose, oh, I lose accuracy. And I lose an attack. But I gain 4 sneak attack dice. And yeah, that is true, Mephilus, so It just depends on how much other accuracy I can get. But you also have to... Good luck with the remainder of the stream. I hope you have, I hope you are healthy. I'm healthy. Thank you. Thank you very much. We also gonna have to consider. Um, yeah, that is that's true. Though you also have to consider what other bonuses I'm getting from Vivi that will counteract that accuracy loss. Yeah, I'm chrono free right now, and I say it at home streaming all day, so I mean, I think I'm okay. Because Vivi's going to get the mutagen, right? So with mutagen... So 6 Slayer gives me what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sl Slayer. Um, but what Slayer Talents? Like, what benefit of the Slayer Talents am I getting? I'm getting the studied target. That's it, right? Because Slayer Talents, I'm just taking normal old talents, right? The same ones that v Vivi can get. Hmm. Okay. Attack. Melee is just going to town. Yeah, the main character is by far the favorite build, my favorite build I've played so far in this game. It's actually it's just effective, like there's no it has no downsides whatsoever so far. I can't, I'm just cleaning out everything up first. Okay, what is this? Oh my god. Alright, Losa. Yeah, it's like, if and just standing on the front line, I'm like, WTF, bro.
Yeah, I know that, and that's why I didn't want him up there in the first place. Oh, I can't go in here. That's it? Okay, well. This whole this whole comp is making me say that's it a lot, isn't it? Okay, well, go this way. Yeah, that's true. I'm just waiting for like some things that are actually like last more than five minutes. But I know like all the dungeons are late game. Cheese at you as you can throw at it. <laughs> My life is a burden. I feel tired. So I have to get you can die you. Just running me in circles. Thanks, game. I require rest. Getting trolled by the game. Uh, Cygnus, we're just kind of like, uh, we're playing Pathfinder, just getting all the uh, Act 2 stuff done. It's the first I've gotten in this game so far. Oh yeah, I love weather. Let us be careful. Troll hounds, fantastic. Alright, Losa, uh, equip all your. I guess you can. Uh, not you can. Uh, Ifen can equip all of them. He's got the strength to carry of them, carry them, so. Story wise, uh, we're supposed to be killing the trolls, I think. But, but I have to grab you can die to do that. I shall not fail. Battles await. Anybody? We should move. Not easy. Let's move on. Let us bide our time. I shall not fail. You have the kingdom now. You know how it is. <laughs> kingdom. Get the kingdom. And trolls attack. I don't even know what I might... Cause I can. All this waiting for not because it's actually gonna be useful. I'll take the bait. We should prepare. No one stands in my way. I think all I have to do is recruit Inkandayo. I mean, and then take him there. Wow, 
game hard. You monster. Did I even take a hit there? I don't think I took a single hit there. The path is clear. Battles await. The road awaits. I shall not. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like, I just need to know, like, if, if there's actually gonna be a benefit to going to full slayer, because I there's like there's so many things I could get spell wise with a uh a um Vivi as well. I mean I wouldn't worry that much if it's gonna take you that much time. Like I don't want you to know, like take all your time up, but like I'm just trying to think like we you already see the benefit I get from these buffs and spells on the uh, like even just things like expeditious retreat. I mean yeah, if you're curious that'd be great. Because you got to think like defensive spells, offensive spells. I get the things like a large person, like we were talking about. So there's ways we can. Uh, so many uh, things we can do. And remember, I'm just respecting for free, basically. Be so careful, wow. carefully. Uh, we just have a portrait imported. That's all we did. Okay, if we're gonna attack the same target, please. Yeah, this game lets you import uh, any kind of portrait picture so yeah you can do like all kinds of custom looking characters so we just use the picture and then named it losa <laughs> what the fudge bruh plus four oh my god i <laughs> think you are a bit broken you could just say you are a bit broken. Is, is it a different cave? Cut them to pieces. Okay, that's nice. What for what particular what in particular? Uh the um oh, acid? Oh yeah, acid. I've also I've always thought that the cantrips makes no sense, but like if it's for stuff like this that makes sense why you have like trash cantrips like that. Oops, I didn't mean to cast it outside of camera combat like that. Tread lightly. Like if you just need it to apply damage, then it makes sense. Like, Ifen's not even that crazy or anything in the party, but just because we added another character to the party, we just hit another level of OP. <laughs> just because just he exists. Literally. Just admit he's good? Okay. I know I'm probably a hater. Don't don't get me wrong.
Yeah. <laughs> he has a spell that makes him big and swole. up epic This is the missing child quest. Let us be careful. Oh, because we imported the pictures to make uh, characters of them. <laughs> Our duty calls. All this waiting. Our duty calls. Everyone counts on me. Let's move. Let's bide our time. It's a good place to read in with the rules of this game and our pillars. Um, this game is incredibly overwhelming because it's based off the Pathfinder rule set, and there is actually not a whole lot of resources for this game. Um, so honestly, your best bet is to study, like either just watch guides on YouTube, or like just read like the the rule books, like some of the basics of the rule books for the game. Yeah, this game is designed for people who've already played the pen and paper and like the pen and paper, and just want to play more of it. All right, see you, Zeke. Thanks for hanging out today. I crave for adventure. I shall not fail. Um, Pillars of Eternity, um, since he actually has a whole playthrough just like he does for Divinity. I shall not no one stands in my way. Observe the others, learn from their mistakes, before they learn from yours. should How will it be new player friendly? Is it a different rule set or what? So many thoughts. Our duty so calls. Hmm, if it's not a different rule set, I don't know how it's going to be. The road awaits. Oh, okay. It's going to be better. We should prepare. You know, I was hoping if it was going to be the same rule set, they just do the same game and they just add add stories to it. That's what I was hoping. Like, could be a possibility with like uh, DOS two, where they That's had the rule set and all that good stuff, and then they just. Uh, made new campaigns for it because they have that the, they have it configured like that but they just don't do it I feel like the second game explains it a little bit better but not super well. Divinity is definitely the most friend, like new player friendly of all of uh, the CRPGs. Like 
get it. <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea. Probably not. Twenty-five armor class. Your games now. All right, we could probably just stun him, right? I'm superior. <laughs> oh fudge. Oh yeah, they are satisfying. If you have that effect. All right, range characters are about to die. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Run. No, she was still thunder calling. Seriously. I sure hope not. Oh, mother of God. All right, well, oh, let the attack commence. With exactly six layers of safe layer, that's not busted at all. Okay, multi-class it is then. It actually makes uh, the multi-class much more uh, viable probably. I'm thinking maybe I need a third melee. Because if I ever get flanked, it's hard to create a front line with just two. Yeah, we just we just have uh, portraits imported, the game, so we can just make like uh, DOS two characters. Essentially. Oh my god! I mean, we we will be going full six man. That's, that's funny. So yeah, so 16 is a break point. So that means you can you can do multi class uh, six levels into a non full bab class and still get the full tax. That's perfect. That's good to know as just multi classing in general. Be careful. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was backwards. Yeah, six levels and a full bab, and 14 and a three fourths bab. Okay, this isn't good. Temporary hit points is good.
I mean, if HP is better than AC, isn't temporary hit points still useful? Yeah, so I would just think like it's it's better than I mean it's free for just getting level nine. Also, by the way, I think I took way too many extra performance. Worse than healing, dang. I mean, there's displacement again. Or Feather Step. Okay, so you're talking about how Feather Step can ignore web, right? So it has the same uh, description text as the Feral Wings do. So yeah, the Feral Wings say diff ignores the adverse movement effects of difficult terrain as well. So I think the Feral Wings will ignore webs too. Hmm, I thought you said feather cells work for webs as well, but I guess not. So I don't want to do I don't want to be using webs with my melee, melees. Oh, freedom of movement. Okay, sorry. So I'm gonna ignore my feather steps. My melees already have that ability, and I'll just use displacement. We should move. I may have to rest before going here. Let's just find out. Or not. Oh. is clear. I'll go ahead. I think I missed where I'm supposed to go for the lizard. Did I feel that? Fudge? Enemy near. Your head. 
Enemy near. I've oh boy. Something. That's true. But you have to come. I mean, I don't know. Like, you get like, you lose out on like two, two levels of the study target. Let's head out. And you get all the spells for Vivisectionist instead. And you have to sacrifice some of my like strength stats or something to get some intelligence for my spells. But I think it's worth it. Um, okay, this is bad. A solid plan. Forwards. I don't think I've seen uh, if in sneak attack once. The path is I bet you it's not working on ranged. It does work, okay. Tread like watch each other. Aim carefully. I mean, I feel like this is less than 30 feet, right? Let us be careful. Freaking flanking. Will the attack commence? Gonna need a heal soon. I spy. What do I spy? I'll go Alright, I'm not gonna fail another Everyone theory check. Let's me. go. Dart? One handed ranged? Huh. The path 
is clear. Let's head out. Okay, I must have missed what the quest was supposed to be for. Tread lightly. Because he said, like, I had to go to talk to this, like, uh, lizard or whatever. Or whatever. So this other hut that I missed? Hmm. I'll go ahead. Yeah, he got it. Sneak attack. Oh my god, he killed the kid. Alright y'all, it's been a long stream, I've, I've streamed it longer today than I did yesterday, it's been almost 10 hours, <laughs> so we are done, <laughs> this 2am, yeah I have to go figure out what the quest, uh, what the heck I'm supposed to do to complete the quest, because I don't know where the rattler is, I just, I just searched the whole map, so. Anyways, we'll deal with that next time. But for now, we're done. <laughs> it's been such a long stream. I am nine minutes away from ten hours, so we are done. Thank you all for hanging out. Once again, thank you to uh, Off Meta Gamer, Mephiliso, and then everyone else in the chat who has been incredibly uh, helpful. Hope it's been uh, fun for everyone. Uh, I think I'll probably, I mean, honestly, I'm enjoying this game a lot, so, like, I want to play this probably next stream, but, like, we'll see. Maybe I'll go ahead and hop back into DOS, too, because I know a lot of t a lot of people on the on the channel prefer that game, of course. So, uh, yeah, we might play that. I'm not sure yet. I'll make a decision. I'll probably stream tomorrow, but probably not as long. Usually Sundays are, like, my day off, and uh, I know that's a lot of times where people have time to, to watch streams i mean everyone has time to watch streams at this point but you know ways <laughs> sundays are like my uh hangout day with all my roommates and coworkers and all that good stuff so probably not going to be a 10-hour stream but yeah we'll probably stream tomorrow so thank y'all i'll see you in the next one